your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Your mom and dad. Well, welcome home, family. It's your mom, mom and dad. dad. Hello to us on a truly glorious day. It's a beautiful sunny day here. It's a sunny day. It's a beautiful hot day. It feels like summer. It's almost like the sun came out knowing that we were going to talk about Joey because he's so hot. He's so hot right now. He's so hot Wasn't right he now. voted he's hottest? So, yeah, we talked about that. He was, he's like, apparently the people are out here saying that Joey's the hottest bachelor we've ever had. So mm. the sun is like, hey, babes, I'm coming out to shine on that JoJo. To shine on that J-Dog. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful and, day. And uh, I just want to say real quick off the yeah. top, I don't understand why people like cold because I love heat. And you like cold sometimes. I don't get it. Yeah. Also, last night it was cold. Uh-huh. Okay. And I had to let the dog out. Uh-huh. Hated it. Just yeah. those three seconds of cold. Hated it. Question for you. Are you want to start off an episode talking about weather? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good burn. That was a really good burn. Okay. You're, you're looking at. <laughs> hey, date me. What's my pickup line? <laughs> You're out here How's trying to start an iconic cast bio episode, one of our favorite episodes of the year okay, out yeah, with a conversation about listen, weather. That was like a speed dating exercise that I failed. I'm you know like, what I mean? you, what's going on, babe? You want to talk about it? Wow. No, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Definitely don't want to talk about weather anymore. Anyway. <laughs> but it's our favorite time of year like honestly really cast bios <laughs> basically what evan was saying was he loves the sun he loves warm weather and he yes. also loves the cast listen bio. i'm just giving myself i'm just letting you know what i'm into okay <laughs> you're just trying to do that as like a transition yeah that's topic. kind of my thing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah oh my god but so anyway f- delete that edit that um <laughs> This is this is my personal kind of favorite time of year. The favorite cast time, bios. Favorite time of year. Favorite time of They're year. The, it's the drinking, the hanging out, the laughter, the just free flowing. It's my favorite. And we also, I don't know, it also helps me feel like we really get to know the cast, even though through our cast bio, we're making guesses and assumptions that have nothing to do with the actual people. It helps me feel like I go into the season being like, oh, I know these people yes. just from my assumptions. And then I find out that most of the time I'm totally wrong. But that's always fun. Well, it's also just like the it's the beginning of something. You don't know how the season's going to be. You don't know, know anything yet. You haven't you haven't been able to meet anyone yet. And it's just exciting. I completely agree with you. Mm-hmm. It's my most favorite time of year, too. Yes. We're twins in that way. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just in a weird mood. I'm just in a weird mood. You ever, you ever wake up and you're just hey, in one of those weird ones? I have a fun idea. Yeah. Can you imagine if when we were going through the cast list mm-hmm. for Joey's upcoming season as we are right now, all of a sudden a photo comes up and it's me and that's how I'm letting you know that I'm like, yeah, that's why I've been taking so. those weird calls in the bathroom for a long time on FaceTime. This it's been me meeting with you producers. Know, this is me letting you know I'm leaving. That would be... No, it would be iconic It would be iconic, but it, was all be, it would also be payback for when you had that cheating dream. Oh. When I had the dream about you cheating, that's my payback. It, it, so is it's that payback I would, when you had a cheating dream, which makes no sense you, at well, all. Well, I had a cheating dream about you. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it's my payback so is that I'm going something. to nominate myself for Joey's season, mm. actually get on, film it, mm. and then show you that I'm part it's of okay. I'd be cool with it because what I'd do is that I would then contact the producers. Uh-huh. Be like, by the way, I'm her hu- acting <laughs> husband. Like, current in term <laughs> husband it's currently happening here's all the proof you need uh and then i would come on to it uh-huh. okay i would then create a big stir yeah the women would feel bad for me yeah and the ones that weren't connecting with joey would be like evan are you okay and then i would then make you jealous by like Oh, well, you know, I'm not doing very okay. And then you'd go, Evan, I'm so sorry. And then I'd pull you off the show. And then, so it would be quite the arc. You I think mean, you'd have me. Really, you think you'd have me. It would really, really help our numbers and we could that, use it. Well, <laughs> 
it would really up our podcast numbers and we could use it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So maybe I'll do that next season. Mm, okay. Yeah. Just I like that. that idea out there. I mean, listen. But some for real though, can you soul. imagine how iconic that would be if I'd be like, hey, just breaking the news news to you right now. Like anyone out there looking to get a divorce, yeah. that's a way that you could show your mm. current partner that you in fact are going to be leaving them is be like, oh, look at the cast for this upcoming dating TV show and you're part of the cast list. The issue is though, iconic. Uh, it's iconic. The yeah. issue though is like when, the, so how, so I'm a producer. Yeah. Can you, can you, let's do a little role playing. Yeah. Here. Hi, uh, Jessica. It's so nice to meet you. I think you're perfect for the show. Thank you One so question. Much. I was looking yeah. on your Instagram and I saw that you have a child and a husband yeah, absolutely. and a life with them. Mm-hmm. Um, you also have a podcast with your husband that yeah. I've seen and, and I, I Thank quite, you so much for tuning in. Yeah, I quite yeah. enjoyed it. It's really good. Um, <laughs> I'm just having a hard time kind of seeing how this thing whole, how the, how that coincides with being on yeah. a show about finding love. I have one question for you. Oh, you have a question for me. See, yeah. Real quick. Let me uh-huh. detach. Mm-hmm. Very cool. You always want to switch it on the interviewer, you know, I know. so that they, so that they are like, wait a second, I'm, I'm keeping on you, the defensive. I'm keeping okay, you on cool. Your toes. All right. Uh, oh, you have a question for me. Really? Yeah, what is yeah, it? Yeah. Do you want to make good television? I mean, that's why we're here. Then ask those questions again. And really think about it. Okay. Like, then, come on, Evan. Yeah. Like, what type of producer doesn't dream of this opportunity of like, oh, Sneakily we're going to have off. like, uh, we're going to get this person to the very end and then be like, oh, surprise, full blown person who's married, who, you know, isn't planning yes. on leaving their partner, who actually has a podcast with them. I mean, like, come on. Okay, it's then, a dream. then, then um, Miss Jessica, maybe you could help me with this. Yeah. Um, it's very like, would be like a very much a reality Von T's moment it, where everyone it. would be like, what is happening? Sure, sure. Yeah. So then my question for you just to just on a more practical sure. level is uh what do you how are you, what are you going to tell your husband when you're gone for like two months <sighs> and you're not posting and you can't you won't have access to your phone yeah well he is very distracted by a Roomba right now so oh. I think we'll be good <laughs> <laughs> okay I mean these are all great responses we love it you're in thank you wow yeah that would be insane yeah and so so when I see the picture, mm-hmm. am I angry? Am I surprised? Am I laughing thinking that you, you know, put your face in there to be funny? You're turned on. It's a hot pick. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm just so hot. I'm so hot for the pick that I don't even know. I didn't even, I just, it just goes over my head. <laughs> Insane. You're well, just so overcome by your attraction to me. You don't even realize like so what we're even doing. I'm like, who is that? Oh my God. Wait, is that you? <laughs> and then we just make love on the pod. See that? There you yeah. go. Okay. Again, help with the numbers. Yeah, exactly. Um, anywho. So that's an idea. Just throw that out there. Again, mm-hmm. free ideas here, people. Wow. Absolutely just free another ideas. piece of gold from us yeah, for you to take. Yeah. But I am very excited for this. Yes. I can't wait. I'm really hoping that we get some fun jobs. Um, our last... Uh, cast bio episode for the golden bachelor yeah. i don't know if you recall but i was really i was swinging i was making some swings, swings. with some unique jobs yes right yes so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna try maybe that again yeah this round see what happens and you gotta think about this too is that people who are signing up for this job yeah. or this this show is is that they have to be in a place in their in their career mm-hmm. or have a career that could afford them two months off yeah or you quit your job which is gnarly so which i don't i don't wild. i feel like maybe a lot that's of people why do we, it yeah i just feel like that's probably why we don't see a lot of like lawyers and doctors although we do see them every once in a while because i'm always wondering i'm like how do you just take two months off of your job i sure don't know and think about that though think about so many people quit their job to be and, on this show and then make it like a week and then we have the audacity to be like they're being dramatic you better believe I'd be fucking dramatic uh, if you're going to get rid of me week two after I quit my job. And then you're back one? at home and you have no career and you're sitting there just like, yeah, what come on did now. I do? I'd be, so, I mean, come on. Just again, just thoughts. Thoughts mm. before we dive into this. But should we, should we officially get into this? Absolutely. I think we should officially get into this before we officially get into this. One quick reminder to our audience if you haven't been on this journey with us before, or if you have, here's just a reminder just because we love you. Mm-hmm. Um, this might be an episode that you want to tune into on YouTube because we will be posting the photos as we go. So you can look at these cast biopics as we are. Um, 
We do not know who any of these people are. Zero. We know nothing about them. So what we do on this episode is we see a photo and we attempt to make a wild guess or assumption um, about this person, what they might be like, what they might do for a work. And then after we make some guesses, we pull up their actual cast bio from ABC and find out how right we were, how wrong we were. Mm-hmm. Um, but Guess again, how long they'll kind of stay, how, how successful they'll be on the show. 100%. But again, we don't know anything about them. So if we say something that's totally off, sorry, Completely we don't unfounded know. unfounded judgments based <laughs> off of just their face and, and outfit. It's just what we do. It's what we do, It's what baby. we do. And uh, on this part one, because we will be breaking this up mm-hmm. into two episodes because we want to give everyone their fair time. Yeah. Because we end up, you know, we always talk about this. The last few people on the cast list, we end up cutting. It gets cut Mm -hmm. real short because we're like, oh, we've been doing this for three hours. Um, So this is part one. And on this special part one, we will be joined by a special guest. She will be joining us in a few minutes. We got to take a quick pause with our amazing sponsor. And then we will bring in our special guest. Excited. But family, let me tell you a tale. Let me tell you a tale of Jess a few years ago. A Jess who once a month would look at her bank account and uh, say, hmm, where did all of it go? Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't spend that much this month. Well, turns out the money was flying out of my bank account because of monthly subscriptions I was still paying for that I didn't need anymore. Like apps that make me look like, I don't know, I lived in the 1800s or whatever. Well, now that doesn't happen anymore. And those subscriptions are canceled. And the money is being saved because of Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and conceals your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Yes, we are forever fans of Rocket Money. Forever fans. They've saved our family a lot of money. A lot of money. With yes. Rocket Money, I can see all my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something I don't want, I can just simply cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone with customer service, which we all know is a nightmare. We all know how painful and long those calls can get. So thank you, Rocket Money, for taking care of that for me. Yes, they even try to get you a refund. This is so wild. They try Mm -hmm. to get you a refund for the last couple months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. I mean, it's genuinely incredible yes. incredible rocket money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions uh, i mean they saved me over $1000 in 2023 amazing stop wasting money on things you don't use cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com/momdad that's rocketmoney.com/momdad rocketmoney.com slash mom dad i'm telling you sign up with rocket money it's an amazing way to start 2024 okay to get those finances Big in time. order to Big start time. saving that money for real um all right evan should we bring in our very special guest who is going to help yeah. us crush these cast bios i'm so excited let's I go i cannot wait all right we rolling we're rolling, rolling. okay and we are officially here with the gorgeous, the talented. We are talking every amazing television show. We are talking Mad TV. We're talking author. We're talking podcaster. Will you accept this rose? Yes. It's Arden oh, Marie. Thank you so much. What a treat to be here. Oh my gosh. I am so happy that oh. we're finally meeting in person. Me too. First of all, you guys are adorable. Your house is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Thank you. It's so <laughs> cute. What a cute couple. Oh, so gracious. God. Compliments already. I know. I'm like, you on stay. Instagram, We've here been, for it. Oh, and you, I just absolutely am obsessed with all of your Bachelor, Bachelorette takes. Thank you very much. The podcast is hilarious. Thank you. Hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, um, it is, I, we don't, we do not hate watch it. We like, like, so we tell people when they come on, it's like, it's easy to, it's like, we actually are rooting for people to find love. Yeah. And, but it's, it's such a fun, we treat it like a, a sporting event. So when we do, we do our draft picks similarly yes it's just guessing who's gonna basically make it to the super bowl and uh exactly and, yeah. we have a silly silly fun time too <laughs> okay did you enjoy the uh, the gatch wedding the golden bachelor wedding did you enjoy I 
loved it. So did I. I loved it. I thought right? it was amazing. I did too. A lot but of it's interesting is you like, brought up the hate watch thing. Some people. That's interesting because I do a. Uh, Makes sense because I do feel like we're weirdos sometimes by enjoy watching it. I yeah. always did. I don't. We've had over the years a few people come on who, and I think they, it, to me, it's just, it's so easy to trash something. And that's not to me, like, I don't know. I'm just not a cynical person. And so mm. my first season that I ever watched was Caitlin Bristow. It was such a great season. Such a good season. Yeah. And I loved her. She's and amazing. Like, and I was just in, you know, and it was also like that season, if you remember. They were so mean where they made the guys vote and pick the bachelors like between she and Brit. Remember they made that them was vote the oh, most so yeah. mean. Yeah. It was so <laughs> mean. Remember and then that guy followed Brit out like he's like I'm going to leave with her and like it was just but but I found Caitlyn so charming and engaging. Yes. So that's when I I saw some of my funny like I didn't know anybody else who was watching it, but then I would see on at the time Twitter now X whatever. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. And before it went absolutely crazy. I saw my funny friends like I, that's when I was like, oh, there's a lot of people who watch this, and that. So then the next season, which was uh, Ben Higgins' season, was our first one. I was like, I just want to talk about this with. Funny people, but who are actually like watching the yes, show. Yes, they enjoy it. Yeah. It's not just like, oh, I'm yeah. going to come on here and talk about this bullshit. It's like, yeah. no, this is fun and exciting. And, and then, we like to have a good time. Yeah, when people come on, like, it's so, it's like, oh, okay, that's not a new, t like, you have to suspend this. At a certain point, I think it wouldn't have lasted this long if it, like, you have to, I think once you're in the machine, even if you go in being like, I'm going to be the villain, it's like, I think once you're in the machine, you just have to give over and like sometimes you find connections. I completely listen. I'm a romantic I am over too. here. I'm and this guy romantic. believes everything I he believe sees everything. on TV. I, do too. I oh, refuse so to sweet. allow my brain. Well, I love it's like, it. It's like a movie. Yeah. You could be watching a movie and in the middle of it going, oh, I wonder how many times they shot this yeah, scene. No, it's like, well, then, what am I watching the movie for? I need to pretend it. this is like a real, I'm watching yes. it live and it's happening. So oh, I you refuse. guys have to come do my podcast. Oh my God, we would love. How did you meet? How did you meet? We've, High school. No. Yeah. yeah. So have you been well, together? Well, even before that, our parents were friends when we were like 10. Have you been together since high school? We've been together since high school. Yeah, we took and some we time. Took like a year like and a half. But Good. Break. You should, yeah. Where, Good. you know, we laid you should. <laughs> we laid. We laid out. We laid. We laid with the foundation. That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've been together since. That yeah. size. Where did you grow up? I born and raised Orange County for me. Great. I was yeah. Long Beach, then Orange County. Yeah. Come on. What about you? Yeah. Excuse me. You were coming on and you're interviewing. Us, no, 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 I find you guys so charming, and oh I God. like. And who's your favorite bachelor or bachelorette? Ooh. Fa that, that's a tough one because like what do you mean by favorite favorite like, season how about favorite season I don't know which one do you think uh, Jess is better at answering these questions for me <laughs> I love Caitlyn I, I mean Caitlyn's season Caitlin, what yeah Caitlyn is a star Caitlyn you know I mean? 100% it was a great season because you had Nick Vile coming in the middle her going bananas like it's Nick you uh, know, no, like, that yeah. season was so phenomenal I loved Loved, loved, loved charity season. She, I love charity season too. Charity I loved charity. Is she's such an incredible bachelor. Yes. I feel like she reignited the spark. I agree with you. She I was concerned that she was too normal. Yeah. And that she was fantastic. Like incredible. when they cast her, I liked her. And I was like, ooh, is this is she gonna like and then I was like, she was a authentic, sweet sparkly everything i love dotton i love dotton yeah no. yeah there are I, like a couple i'm rooting for me too yeah. i loved also at the gatch wedding kathy hitting on uh, kathy was a <laughs> star hitting on dotton like yeah. talking about when they announced their when they announced their wedding date in like fall 2025 and she's like another fallen soldier <laughs> Obsessed with Kathy. Give that woman a morning show. Like Seriously. she's obsessed with her. She is the best. Obsessed with the wedding officiant who we call Susan Jenner because she looks like Chris Jenner. Right, right, right. Love Susan. She's the best. Uh what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on Joey? Our bachelor. Love. I'm here for it. I think his promo, I feel like they've given him like a hot up a little. Like he was always adorable, but I felt like that pink suit, he looks hot. He looks hot, hot, hot. They did the right kind of TV glow up. Like, cause they took an already adorable guy and they made him like hot. Yes. I yeah. think he's sweet. I'm nervous cause I never read spoilers or anything. I'm nervous based off of the previews that he might not end up with anyone. That's what we were that talking about. was looking, about. but again, you know, I, it's always, they're always playing they always with mess us. With us. But they I said hope. something is happening that's never happened because it seemed like it was a lot of him going why don't you love me 
Yeah. Moments. And I'm like, you never really see too much of that going on. No, so no, there was like, a lot in the preview. Yeah. And so when he came up and they were talking to him, I just thought, I hope this poor dude isn't like having to act great and like I mean look he'll be fine like hitting on people he's at gonna the be wedding. yeah like, like, <laughs> you know, he'll have, like his DMs will be a tsunami <laughs> of ladies but like like I just I I hope that he had a good experience because those previews were pretty brutal they were brutal and there's something about Joey and I keep saying this he gives me this vibe like he might be potentially our new Peter Weber where it's messy uh, in the best way yeah. Where it's a lot of love and it's a mess. Right, where he, because he's so lovable and he's such, and he's so not seemingly the F boy. Like he's the sweetheart. Yes. And that's going to maybe give, I think he's going to, people are going to fall for him. Like more than, I didn't, Zach seemed like a nice guy, but like, I'm not like, I didn't know any ladies that were like, oh, is that like, you know, he, Katie or cute, God whatever. Him and Wish Katie. him and Katie will. I never cute. recognize them when I see them on TV. I'm like, who is that? I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, Wait, who's yes. He seems like someone who's humble yes. and very aware of himself. Yes. So I could see him not being cut out for like the like, Tenacious comp- Joey, Joey. Joey. Yeah. the competition, in like the kind of like edge you need. I think the gals are gonna fall for yeah. the J Dog. Oh, hundred. He's a sweetie patiti. He's a tennis instructor. I like in the Hawaii. fact. Like, I like the fact that his father is gay. Like I they, love that. They Thank did God. not talk. I, I'm gonna assume his parents didn't want to talk too much about that. But I'm like yeah. for ABC. No, that I was is saying, very, Thank God we have some representation that's here. That's cool. Hopefully we get to know yeah, they, uh, Dad uh, more. Yeah, I, the uncle was tough. The cock blocking uncle on the court is like, yeah. is like Joey's not being himself. Joey's not Joey right now. I'm concerned. He really don't. Joey can't have a girlfriend until I have a girlfriend. Yeah, it definitely was like, okay, bro. <laughs> that energy. Oh my god, that's Joey what I and I date together. If we Joey go gets a girlfriend. Together. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a best friend. Well, also felt like what I liked um, about the, all of the kids at the Gatchler was like. I like that the kids, no one was being the posturing, what are you doing with my mom? Like, they were so sweet and sincere. Although we, we didn't ever get to really talk to the son, but both sets of daughters were so authentic and charming and oh, not hamming up for the camera. Like, just such real sweetie patities yeah. that, like, nobody threw anyone under the bus. They were not, like, weirdos. Like, they were, like, about their parents dating. Like, and I, I just remember, Joey got cock-blocked by his uncle. Oh, yeah. 100%. Look, I mean, I'm excited. I hope he doesn't get crushed. I know. Me too. Who do you think they're going to make Golden Bachelorette? Faith would be good. Faith would be good. Or give me somebody in their 70s. We had a guy in their 70s. Give me an Ellen. Would love an Ellen. Yeah. I mean, Susan to me. Susan! Uh, my ultimate I choice. I that... love Susan. And I feel like the world loves Susan. <laughs> uh, so I feel star. like it would be a smart choice Susan for them would to be pick great. Susan. Susan is so cool. She's Oops. awesome. She's been with a woman. She's had a three way. Yes. She's like down. Like, she's cool. Give we me love a, her. Give me a Susan. We need a Susan. And then you know they're going to have a fun Chris Jenner crossover moment. They'll Chris bring Chris Jenner. on screen and it'll be a whole like, oh, is Chris going to be the new Bachelorette? Yes, and then they, no, they push Susan. Susan in. They could do a whole thing. I hope for Susan. I would love Ellen. I liked Horny Sandra. Oh, love. So horny. <laughs> so horny. 75, maybe 76 at this point. Like the horniest contestant we've ever oh had. My Looking God. so hot. Oh, Holy like smokes. boudoir shots. I, I love also that like Teresa's like, she wanted these photos. It's like yeah. primetime ABC. She picked like a sexy teddy <laughs> for her man. No, like didn't. That was for the world. She good for her. Good for her. She went out there and she Powerful. took those gorge photos. She looked hot. They all look hot. I love <laughs> shy so Ellen. Hot. She she yeah. she was adorable. She did it her way. She looked so cute. She did bouncy hair. I mean, Edith. Why didn't she take off? She should have soared. <laughs> she was so hot. Edith it was and stunning. sweet. A hair campaign. <laughs> she yeah. or Ellen. They double e. <laughs> They're She looks like a politician. Like she yes. she's got that like look of like I, I deal with like aristocrats and diplomats. Yes, yes. she Absolutely. knows how. Use the right fork. Yeah. She's continental oh, 100%, style. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. She eats with her fork upside down in the left hand. The night she pushes it on onto the back of the time. Well, you it's know. Perfection. Well, I was just in England and I realized I'm a monster. <laughs> so then I googled. I was going to say continental breakfast. I know no, what that is. I, I, I was like, style. I was like, I'm so messy. And I was like, I spill 
food. I shovel it. And I'm like, okay. So I literally Googled. Like, so it's called Continental. I found a man. Who, <laughs> you too? Okay, I found a guy that I became obsessed with that I'm worried about. <laughs> he was called, his name was Kyle. And he was called, his, he was like, shoot, I'm gonna have to text my boyfriend. Uh, it was Kyle. He was like, it was like the distinguished gentleman, but it was even weirder than that. It was like the something gentleman. And he had like an etiquette YouTube channel for men that ended right before the pandemic started. But he had like 200,000 subscribers. I'm like, what? It was like the distinguished gentleman. Like, where did Kyle go? Like, what happened to Kyle? Oh, you're worried about him. I see. What happened to Kyle? Like, you know, the number sky, like you should, where's Kyle? So (laughs) so Kyle taught me on YouTube how to, because I'm really fast, I'm really messy, how to hold the fork and then left hand, you keep your knife, you keep your elbows rested and your hand, and then you take, you cut with the thing and you push it onto the tines and you eat with the fork tines upside down from your left hand. Upside down? It's like the left hand, like, so the tines go down and you start... I was just trying to no. not the upside down. I'm like the that fork feels is sloppier, the fork is a like, little shovel. It feels, if you look in like if you look at like yeah, it's like the fancy. I don't know. But you have to poke it if you're going to do it upside down. You, you poke can't, it. You can't. You what, poke what, what, what if you shovel? I'm a shoveler. I'm yeah. a shoveler. shoveler. It's a tiny shovel. So no. So we, it's an upside. Down. You poke it, but you take smaller bites. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. And then you, <laughs> can, you then you lean your wrist. On the, I didn't learn. I mean, I grew up as a monster. So I'm like <laughs> a little, little uh, like. Yeah. So it was just like anyway. I'm worried about. Kyle. Kyle. I want to know what happened let's, to Kyle. Uh, let's get in contact with I'm Kyle. I'm going to text my boyfriend and find out the name of Kyle's podcast. So if, if any of your listeners can tell me what happened to this guy. Yeah, send the DMs to Arden. Okay. What and, is or Kyle's... Or if Kyle's listening right now. What is Kyle's podcast? Or what was Kyle's podcast? I guess it was... Um, okay. I need to know because was I'm worried about him. Kyle British? No, he was in the Bay Area. I was like, <laughs> in my mind... In my mind, the here's what Bay I wrote. Area. The in guy my- teaching you English <laughs> traditional is from the Bay Area. I love I that. I was fearful for Kyle because he put a lot, he <laughs> acted out all the parts of like, this is, like, he was like, here's what not to do. Like, he really was giving it his all. And in my mind, he had like a wife and like a condo somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she was like, Kyle, I swear to God. <laughs> you know, like he'd blown through their savings. Like in my mind. Trying to get the YouTube going. Yeah. And like he oh, had no. like 200,000 followers. So he was, was crushing. Like, he, was he was doing, doing great. Great. I'm like, but maybe it wasn't monetizing. Like he or forgot something. to turn on ads. Yeah, yeah. he didn't know how to do it. In my <laughs> mind, he's like, so like, like, where did Kyle go? I need to know. Uh, okay. Oh, the uh, the distilled man. Ooh, <laughs> oh, that's wow. nice. Yes, he just wrote back his channel, Distilled Man, our pal. <laughs> we both became obsessed with him. I need the distilled gentleman we to come to, back. Someone <laughs> do some research on. I need to know more about the distilled gentleman. He was pretty great. Yeah, wow. Kyle, let we, us we pray know. for him. Uh, I mean, sign, rest in Kyle. Sign. I was like, where did he go? Like, I wanted to follow it. Like, he's and the channel. You can't. He's just like it's like ghost. the page doesn't work anymore. Oh my God, <laughs> he turned it off. He's like, now if, I'm, if I can't no, enjoy it, I'm like, now I'm on, no, I want to do like scene Kyle. I'm do, curious. I do like the Richard Simmons podcast. I'm like, remember when we were like, where's Richard Simmons that podcast? Oh yeah, yeah. I want to do like, where's Kyle Engel? Like, what <laughs> happened to the distilled gentleman? I it'll be very niche. The most niche. There's like you and 14 it'll other people. <laughs> it's like me and his ex-wife. That's like he owes me alimony. Yeah. Where is Kyle? Yeah, yeah. Where is Kyle? Yeah. So there you go. That's wow. that's where I'm at. Oh my God. <laughs> I got an A mug. Excuse me. I got the A mug. You know, we'll say for Arden. I'll take it. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, that's a thoughtful, that's a distilled gentle lady. Yeah, that's, I've been everything's watching calculated. Kyle. <laughs> everything's calculated. Oh, you got an A Sorry. as well. Yeah, there just, we there go. Was two of them. <laughs> it's technically Ambrose will say Arden. I've been watching the distilled gentleman since we talked oh, about him a few all, minutes, we moments all just ago. Love the distilled gentleman. The distilled gentleman. <laughs> I need to find Kyle. Anyway. <laughs> All right, family, we interrupt these cast bios to remind you that it is 2024 right now, okay? Obviously. And maybe you're wanting to try something new. Expand your tastes, perhaps. I mean, maybe even expand your wine palette if you love a glass of wine. May I suggest... First Leaf Wine Club. Everyone, if you've listened to me over the years, you know how I feel about First Leaf Wine Club. I think it is the absolute best, and I have discovered some of my forever favorite wines through First Leaf. With personalized wines and convenient shipping, 
First Leaf makes it easy to explore new wines from around the world. Mm-hmm. Jess uh, first started using First Leaf uh, a couple years back and now I love it. Uh-huh. Uh, I love First Leaf because they make it super easy to get personalized wine boxes delivered on your schedule. Uh, we can choose the day of our wine delivery so it makes us feel like we are really in control. To get our tailored box of wines from First Leaf, uh, all we have to do is answer some quick questions about our likes and dislikes on their website. And their expert team selected a customized assortment of world-class wines based on our preference. And like Jess said, we've since discovered our favorite wines through First Leaf because their expert team is really Really incredible. You all know Evan and I are we're big white wine fans. Big. We love a shard. Yes, we love, love a Pinot Gris. A Pinot Gris. Oh, yes. We love um, a Sav. Sav. <laughs> Sauvignon a Blanc. Savvy Blanqui. And I have to tell you, we've discovered white wines over the years now from First Leaf that there's no way we would have ever discovered otherwise. Yeah, you go to the store and you're looking at like 150. You're like, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, I have what no I'm looking at right idea. Now. So, and yeah. with First Leaf, it's like we get the best of the best. Mm-hmm. And now we have have our favorite wines, the white wines. Look forward to oh, it. We love First Leaf. Um, and by the way, if I get a bottle or shipment that I'm not loving, I don't have to worry because First Leaf has a 100% satisfaction guarantee. And setting up shipping was a breeze since First Leaf delivers personalized wines right to our door. We can kick back and try new wines from the comfort of our cozy couch all priced lower, by the way, than what we'd pay at a wine store. Try something new this year with First Leaf. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash momdad to sign up and you'll get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash momdad tryfirstleaf.com dot com slash mom dad did you get that amazing deal hey. the best <laughs> can we get into this yeah let's, let's do it. it here we go here we go this. okay family as you know we're pulling up the first photo Great. we just have the name we know nothing about Great. this person and yeah. we're gonna see who this might Ooh. be allison wow wow allison has like mermaid hair she has got a great yes. disney princess hair if allison doesn't work at disney yes Allison is a dancer. Allison looks like a dancer. Allison is a dancer. She also could work at Dry Bar, but I feel like she's a dancer. <laughs> Definitely a potential Dry Bar. <laughs> I think she's either... I mean, hmm. do people just call it out now where they're like... I feel like Allison's from... Allison's from New Jersey. Okay, oh. a Jersey. A dancer from Jersey. I just picture Allison is the type of person she's so flexible because of her dancing yeah. that like I would feel so insecure walking in because yeah. she seems like the type of person who I'd walk into the mansion yes. and she'd stick her leg up yes. straight up in the air in mid conversation. Yeah, you know, just like kind of like like just um stretching. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna put like, my foot against the bookshelf for <laughs> yeah, a hot second. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Allison, are you nervous to yes. be here? She's like, not really. Her leg is just yeah, like dancers the air, stretch. Like, it feels intentional. It, it, it I agree you with you. Know you. Flex. They're flexing. <laughs> they're they're kind of like flexing. sitting in a chair, just going. So like, what is your favorite? And then they put their it head, and you're like, wait a second. It is intentional. It feels intentional. It feels really like. Like, Just so you know, you can't do this. Yeah, you they're can't. They're flexing about their flexing. They're flexing mm. about their flexing. That, I agree with you. When and they I, stretch, it's a flex. And wow. I feel like Allison might not be here to make friends. <laughs> you know what? There's something about Allison yeah. that I don't know if it's a high school um, yeah. musical. Yeah, yeah, you're triggered right now. I feel a little theater theater triggered. I feel a little, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. Can I feel like, <laughs> like that girl stole your look, boyfriend. Like, look, only one person's going to win in the mansion. So you feel like you got to get your pals. Like, I feel like we could share a bunk and have a great time. We would have an amazing time. We would have a blast. Allison... Uh, Allison, it might be a musical theater memory that's yes. triggering me, but I'm like, Allison got the the specific ingenue role. Yeah, always for sure. that some of the rest of us were yes. auditioning for. Yes, I got char woman number four. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got like I was also, or like I looked like a boy. I was like, you're the artful dodger. You know what I mean? <laughs> And it was like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like the young male pickpocket. <laughs> it should be sweet. <laughs> yeah. And then Allison's like, I'm Melanie. You know what I mean? I'm proud I'm of you. Yeah, exactly. She, you can't teach that look. No. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No. Like, that's, that's like you're born you, with the ability to you, look at someone like that. You've and always like, had that look. 
And, you and you're just kind of like, oh, guys are like, oh. Uh, it's also when you've always been popular. Yes. You almost wonder, so comfortable in it. It almost yeah. is like you almost don't have to develop empathy. <laughs> like, yeah, like, honestly. Like, yeah. You're like, you're like, 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 empathy's like, never served yeah, me. There's a, yeah, I, yeah, like, like the door, like she's fine. Yeah. I'm sure her, like, she might have a sister that's like. Maybe a little more like down to earth. It's yes. like, oh, that's so Allison. You so know what I mean? Allison, yeah. yeah. But, but Allison, like maybe... but Allison's the favorite <laughs> yes. in the parents, yes. even though the other empathy. sister is. You she know. could also secretly be a lawyer. I mean, that's very true too. All right, let's see what Al- what is Allison. What is Allison? What is Allison? <gasps> a uh, realtor. realtor. <gasps> wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Lauren's whoa. sister. Wait, who is it? Oh, wait. So there's another one. Is Lauren? You fully got the sister thing. You pulled the sister. I told you. I told you. You felt the sister. So is Lauren going to be on as well? Oh, that's fun. Are they twins? <gasps> oh, Whoa. I pulled in the sister. Whoa. We're going to meet Lauren. You felt something We're going to meet here. Lauren. So here's the question. Do we feel like, are they twins or are they not oh, twins? I don't know. Wait, wait. There's one cat, so she'll be looking for love inside her older sister, not twins, not and twins. best friend, Lauren. Ooh. Okay, when Does they Lauren say- think uh, they're best friends? <laughs> no, okay. Allison doesn't think they're best friends, but they, Allison says that. They've dated the same guy <gasps> before. Oh, this is- this oh, is a, whoa, 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 whoa. She's won many costume contests, and she oh, loves boy. getting dressed up for fancy dinners. It says, will Allison get the fairy tale ending? This hints to me. Yes, it says she's a realtor, but, but this she's bio got a says Disney thing. she's got a Disney thing. And the Disney, like, our, only our Queen Ashley I is, like, hard, you know what I mean? Yes. Who we love, yes. who's the greatest. Like, it's it's hard to land that plane. It is. Mm. It can be tricky. That yeah. can be a tricky one. You'll get far, yes. but landing the plane. Was that really cute? Eliza, wasn't she? Was she Disney? Was she Dis- Was she a princess? There was somebody that was a I'm pro not sure princess. if she if she was. That makes perfect sense. Eliza is absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. She's gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Okay. No, but, okay. So wait a second, though, you guys. I'm actually I'm so tickled that you yeah. got this sister thing. Yeah. And one thousand percent, they're probably actually enemies. Oh, yeah. Are we going to see drama with them on the screen? They're yes, enemies. for sure. Okay, I don't want to brag, but I love reality <laughs> TV and sometimes I love to just um, dip into weird seasons. Okay. So my gentleman caller and I just rewatched. <laughs> I hadn't seen it. We watched the most recent season on Hulu of America's Next Top Model hosted by Rita Ora. It was in 2016. Oh, Whoa. wow. 2016. Okay, when it came back. Okay. And uh, there was a few things that, like, boy, even between 2016 and now, there's a few things that's like, that you're like you couldn't do. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She kept, she kept saying to some of the contestants, <laughs> she could not do now. She's like, this is the first time I've wanted to have sex with you. You're like, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You're like, she gives like three people and the contestants are like, what? Like, we we're like, huh? But there were twins on there, identical. Okay. Who started out as like, we're a duo. And then they kind of like did the makeover and w- w- like one of them liked the look, the other one didn't. Oh, and then, that is detrimental. And then it became one of them, one of the twins had mad competition, grievance. Like, the other one was just like, I'm just living my life. And the second twin is like, I've always been in the shadow of my... So all you need is one side yes. of the... Either at Lauren or Allison. There's going to be enough... They, they, I'm sure they met with a lot of sisters and they found one that will have friction. There's going to be friction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're so right. Also, okay, who do you think? Do we think Allison or Lauren goes home first? I gotta see. I gotta. I gotta see. It's Lauren. hard to know what's gonna go. Who's gonna go home first? I think that's less important than who thinks they're gonna stay longer. Because oh. it's the energy. Lauren. Lauren. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Allison. You know Allison. what I'm saying? Like Allison's Allison. going in, being like, what "I love you, Lauren. One? You're so funny." What if they have a two on? Yeah, you're so funny. You're so I, funny. You're so funny. You're I hate being woman. like so pretty all the time because it's like no one ever really cares about my personality, and it's yes. like. Is that a compliment? It's you a were lot of a great those artful of dodger. You were the <laughs> yeah. great chimney sweep. <laughs> yeah. I definitely feel like, by the way, that Lauren's also going to be a realtor. I bet they're both realtors. Oh. Oh, Competing for the same territory. Hot. Yeah. Wow. Hot realtors. Wow. Yep. But wow. I think you guys are right about Allison because just in the fun facts, her saying that she enjoys a fruity gin spritz, that's someone who wins in life. She's going to win. You know what I mean? That's She's, like a not a stressful life. What if they have a two-on-one with Lauren and Allison? That's gonna be oh. hot 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 <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> she has won many costume contests yeah, what's too. a costume that contest she's, yeah, entered, I mean, like, she's entered many <laughs> costume contests do you know <laughs> well i don't even think she was ever even in them she just decided that she won because she went to a party and she thought she had the best yeah. one and she's like i basically won this competition yes like, i win this yeah, is I a competition. Win. yeah yeah okay i'm gonna i'm calling it now 
top three, one of our villains. Oh, I'm going to call it. it now. I'm going to say Paradise, Lo- not oh. top three. Okay. Full villain. And we will also be seeing um, Lauren in Paradise. And they're going to continue their uh, their competition. I love this. Yeah, it's going to get too weird. Yeah, it's going to get too the weird. The guy's going to be like, ah, it's fine. You Remember know? our twins? Remember our twins that, that, yes. went, that were sort of sweet and then and then went too many times to Paradise and then yeah. and yeah. they got yeah. real fiery out. and they got fiery. Because <laughs> then people, Paradise is tricky because it's, it's so all tricky. about status and commodity. And if you dip back in too many times, like if you're the the senior in high school that because, won't leave, yeah. they're like Matthew McConaughey and Daisy Confused. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, what year are we? How old are like, no. Yeah, they start doing the like, well, who is that? Yeah, and it's like, oh no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. And it's like you don't have the stat. Like, uh-uh. who are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they cool kid them. They sort of big time them. A big time. They do. Yeah. They do. Okay, you're, it's a tricky dance. You I ready? like this prediction. All right, next. Oh. Next we have Autumn. I feel for Autumn. I feel like that's how they would have styled my hair. <laughs> If I had put my middle part, that's how I would have been styled. She's like, I want the fun, cool, give me the like, the East beachy side wave. LA, give me the like, or make it a little bit like French girl 1970s. And they're like, okay, we'll give you this. And it's cute, but it's that's, what cute. They, that's what they would have done to me. You I feel, feel like it. this is if, if you just typed in Southern woman named Autumn into chat GPT, oh, this is what it would spit out. She's a chat bot. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like she just looks like exactly what a Southern Autumn yes. looks like. You know what I mean? Like the Right. Top, the hair, the glasses, right. the, I mean, the, 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 like the lip color, the You're eye right. color, everything's just like. You're right. She's from like George, Augusta. Yeah, yeah exactly. Augusta, Georgia. Yes. She's, yes. Is that where that South is? South Carolina, South Carolina, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Um, also a realtor. <laughs> also a realtor. <laughs> or, or in my opinion, Autumn, she's either involved in like horses oh. or in, in equestrian, in equestrian work. work. Yes. Or, or her hobby is that. Or her hobby. Or. She's in an MLM. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> she's like, you know what? I've got a purse. I've got a Fab Fit Fun. Or no, no, Fab, Fabletics. Fabletics. Yeah. Is that an MLM? I, allegedly, I, I've heard on like podcasts where it's like, I don't call me or sue me about this. I think it's like, a, it's like a, you have to, it's hard to buy one. Oh, it's like a gateway a little bit. And then it's I think, hard I think, I think, I think it's like, I it's think a package. It's, I think it's like you're on a subscription and then it's hard to get in touch with them to be like, you know what? I only needed four <laughs> pairs of yoga pants, not 16. Not a you monthly know what I mean? pair. I don't need 17 pairs of yoga pants. I'm good. I'm good. And they're like, we're sorry. <laughs> we, I think you can't, I think you can't cancel your, I, allegedly, <laughs> I've heard you can't you, you, cancel. So how many, how many pairs do you currently have then? Because uh, clearly, look, I only have 42. allegedly it sounds like it's <laughs> Been about four years and you can't get out I of that. I think I could be wrong, but Emma, look, I got sucked in once. Somehow I got sucked in. I I got sucked. I borrowed someone's like SPF once, and I was like, "This is nice." And then I was like, "I'm gonna." Buy. And then I did somebody's podcast that was like recommending products. They're like, "That's oh, no. a full ML." Like, oh no, you just yeah, recommended you got- <laughs> like a full L- like you got sucked in. They like it was a you. nice product, it smelled good. Like, but I was like, that means that my friend is in yeah yes. that so means my friend poached. and now I have yeah. to like and have a tea party at my house and sell it to everybody <laughs> and now you're talking about it on podcast. I remember growing up in yeah. Juice Promoting Plus promoting it okay and my, yeah. my friend's mom was always being like you should have vitamins and then she'd give me vitamins and then yeah. later on be like have you told your mom that she, you should be taking oh, more vitamins and I'm like wow. really and they're like yeah the Juice Plus and she was, oh she was using <laughs> me kids. smart I mean that listen. is smart. child manipulation smart. is not okay so I know have you thought about getting some Fabletics how many yoga pants you guys have you guys are sizes I love. Yeah, love to hook you let's up. Let's just get you. I'm not a part of it. Yeah, I just yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so Autumn works for Fabletics. So Autumn, okay. Autumn is okay. Chaos. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's check this out. Account executive, where? Okay, Missouri. Missouri. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. 26. Coldplay. She loves Coldplay. She got a lip tattoo at a music festival. That says that she had a real heavy party phase. Yes. A lip tattoo is wild. At a music festival is wild. Oh, Autumn, I'm seeing a different side of you. She's on Molly. She's on Usher. She's on Ayahuasca. (laughs) I want to know what it says. That says a lot. Exactly. It says... 
Blink 182 right, like, right, forever. Right, okay. right. It says that as an account executive, she's an extremely passionate about her job and proud of her career driven mentality. Okay. okay. She's enjoys the music at her favorite bars. She's a little she's she's a badass. I think she's just like a regular gal who's a nice person, mm-hmm. who's a fun, hardworking gal, and she just like wants to get married to a nice guy. And like I think she's like a nice person and is But easy I mean, you gotta reach- look at loves getting rowdy while watching college football. So she's a uh, real college southern kind of vibe the lip tattoo lip tattoo she we all have crazy make, face she will make some fun bad decisions mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. under fun facts autumn doesn't understand why going through tsa takes so long is she gonna give us great itms is she gonna be uh, kind of like oh my god here we go again uh, yeah she's kind like of the partier and she gives us the funny itms that's fun that she's a secret partier i like I'm hoping <laughs> that would add a fun fact. Like if she likes her favorite bar, but it's the cold play of it all. I keep bumping up against cold. Yeah. Like oh, who's a, like cold play there. doesn't scream. Cold play doesn't keg scream stands. like I love to party. <laughs> no. I love to party. Cold I'm at the play club. Screams mega church. Okay. Interesting. It's yes. Which is a very kind of like Southern <laughs> thing. Ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes. Okay. Yeah. She, I feel like we'll see her in paradise. Okay. Okay. He's, he's a loyal, fa- fun family man. Fingers crossed that Joey's the one for her. 26. 26. She feels like a woman. Yeah. She feels more like an adult. Mm. I feel... What's an account exactly? I feel like... What does it even mean? I don't even I know. I really hope... Well, probably like in like the PR of it all, maybe. Maybe it's PR. Maybe just sales. Like she works. She's yeah. an account. She like runs accounts. I don't know. It's kind of just such a general term. She's yeah. part of one of two sets of twins. Whoa. Whoa. So here's the deal. Assuming wow. Autumn's twin isn't, maybe I would say such and such, yeah, Autumn's yeah, yeah, yeah. such and yeah. such a sister, right? But can you imagine if we had two sets of sisters? That would be mm. wild. Maybe we'll get to know, maybe Autumn's sister will come on a different season. Wow. Mm-hmm. Maybe not identical though. Could be a dude. Yeah. True. Oh, true. You never know. True. Here we go. All right, All right Autumn. All right, Autumn. We shall see. She's not a shit stirrer, though. Oh, no. she's cute. Chandler. 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 Cute. She's cute. Name. Okay. I, f- I feel this energy already. Chandler, it's going to say entrepreneur. Yes. And Chandler, though, this is like the badass. I, I picture Chandler on, you know, when you're scrolling Insta yeah. and you see the clips from the podcast where they have like the badass entrepreneur on talking about their amazing skincare yes. line. Yes. She started a huge company. I like that. Right? Mm. Okay, because I just see her giving us inspirational yes. business advice. First of all, her makeup is really good. Her makeup, her hair yes. looks great. She's it's I, professional. She looks professional. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting someone who's very comfortable in corporate settings. She's okay. smart. She's pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like Joey's gonna like her. Yeah. I feel like she's gonna make it to like Europe or the Bahamas or like wherever they go. I yeah. think I think she's Ocean gonna make side. she's gonna make it a uh, past Oceanside. She's gonna make it past <laughs> past the Woodlog uh of uh, like what was the resort that they did Matt James season on that, that oh JoJo my went gosh. to yes. that they had the hot tub with the uh wood burning hot tub with Oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that traveling hot tub that goes traveling everywhere hot now. tub with a, the log of fire <laughs> I feel like she's gonna make it past Michigan yes. past Oceanside we're going right. To we're going to Ireland. We're going to yes, Fiji. Long distance she's travel. She's gonna travel. make it. Oh, she's gonna need her passport. Okay, I think I she's gonna make that. it to top seven. She also got that that kind of side smile a little bit too. She is like there's a twinkle in the eye. Chandler knows something that the other girls don't. Like this Chandler, I feel like is gonna get this. Yeah, it, mm. like Chandler is gonna be yeah. the person in the house who is everybody's friends with and is yes. going to have to give everybody advice yes. but is he going to give us the fire ITMs being I like, like yeah I know this person's arguing with this person yeah. again it's and a whole she's thing like, as Chandler's like how did I end up in this house yeah <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a CEO of a major company I'm trying not to company. think I'm better than them <laughs> yeah. like I'm trying not to I don't <laughs> want to really I know hard. better than that but I, I'm a CEO of a Fortune 500 company <laughs> they're making it really I'm going to say lawyer okay I like that she just get she just you know when you talk to lawyers there's kind of this like like they're able to Tell you good news and bad news with the exact same yes. tone. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, Chandler. Cool. Gra- oh wow. Twenty four. Okay, she is a graphic designer from New York. She's gorgeous. Twenty four. Okay, so she's 24. young. Twenty four. 
Hmm. Okay, she's empathetic and driven. Yes. Um, she's not spending time with her sister. There's a lot of sisters. Lots. Of, why is there a big sister conversation? Are we going to have a theme throughout this? She once gave herself bangs. So she's daring. And she's I mean, look, <laughs> Who didn't do that during the pandemic? And you're like, oh, fuck. And then you're too deep in. And you're like, abort, abort. I'm giving my, it's too late. Yeah. I guess they're going to be micro bangs. I guess it wasn't a fun f- curtain bang. Oh, yeah. I guess we're crossing over to micro. Um, she's so sweet. I think she's going to make it to top. I think the I think the other gals are going to like her. I think she's going to be top six or seven. Um, again, I think we'll see her in paradise. Look at this. It says that she has her life figured out from her career as a graphic designer to thriving New York social life. She may not be bananas enough to like, I feel like the leads always like somebody a little more messy. Yeah. Yeah. No, she's got her. She's got her shit together. Well, she's loving like two, her life right? in New there's York. Like the <clears throat> yeah. Wild one. And like the on paper perfect one. Yeah. And they're always like balancing between. They never pick on paper perfect. It never wins. Never wins. Although Katie from Katie and Zach, she, I mean, he didn't really have any. He had actually great gals. He had amazing he gals. All of them were great yeah. gals. Yeah. Um, what about, who was that cutie patootie from Vermont? That was like the number that he 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 said I love you. The one that he really messed over. Oh, um, Gabby, uh, where's she? She's I, so cute. She's adorable. I feel like I see her every once in a while on social media popping up, and it looks like she's thriving. She had a great revenge dress. She's she dating did. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, where are you? <laughs> Kyle, the distilled gentleman. gentleman. Oh, he should be so. That would be great. I feel like, by the way, I'm seeing with her thriving New York social life, there's a big bachelor scene in New York now. New York now is with, like, happening. The Kit Keenans of it all. Yes. Chandler yeah. is going to become, like, she's yes. going to be in deep. Yes, because kids there and they're all around the same age. They're going to be, like, they should that's be doing fun. a reality TV show. That's Chandler fun. will be part of this. Yeah, maybe that's, that's how she got on. Maybe she's friends with. Maybe we have yes, some. Yes, we have Cynthia Rowley be the house mom. Um, yeah, that's fun. Just a thought. You're going to run into problems with a thriving New York social life and a guy who teaches uh, tennis in Hawaii. Very different energies. I feel like Joey, he could get a job teaching. Joey's at, like, chill. Joey's chill. He could go, go teach. Move. He, you know what? He could go teach at the U.S. Open Tennis Center. That's true. Because true. a New Yorker is not going to move. No. They she, like what they do. You know what I mean? She's it's not like, moving to Hawaii. No. No. But he could. Doesn't he from Pennsylvania? Yeah, I think so. Right. He was from somewhere else, obviously. Yeah, but You either need a from. very chill person who's like, I'm coming to Hawaii. I don't have a giant career. I'm an aspiring influencer or whatever. Right. Like. Like, I just love Joey, and I'm going to go do my sur- teach surfing, and he teaches tennis, and we're going to make cute videos together. Right. Or, I don't know that I see him in New York City, though. Tough. He doesn't feel like a Could city guy. More the opposite. No. no. He doesn't feel like that. I could see him in coming to San Diego. Fella. Everybody comes to San Diego. Everybody comes to San Diego. He's look, more San Diego look, to me. Braden's going to... That's true. Braden, Braden went to is, Nashville. Braden's doing my live draft picks this next Saturday, the 20th at San Francisco Sketchfest. Yes, everybody. Come he... in person. We're doing a full draft picks. How fun is that? Oh, and that's awesome. Braden is allegedly, unless he's in <laughs> Nashville, he says he's coming. Now, Wells, he's gonna come. Wells is a friend of the show and Wells loves Braden. Braden was his favorite last year. Okay. So I'm all in. I my I am all in. And I'm like, here we go. I Everybody I go. That. that sounds like so much fun. Now, we're going to make him, because I, I I wasn't sure if he was going to bail or not. I wa- I looked on Etsy. I wanted to make him earrings of like himself and Christina Mandrell. Now oh. it's too late on Etsy. So I'm going to actually have to, I'm going to have to make them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make and present okay, I'll source it. I'm going to make you them. better show up. And there, and there's going to be, there's going to be like feathers or beads attached, you know, with his photo of Christina Mandrell. I got to go to make Michael's. Oh and my. get some crap. I, I can, I'm going to, they're not going to be good, but they I, are going to be executed. <laughs> I believe he will be there. And I believe that yeah. he will then and wear then, those on his wedding day. Yeah, they'll be like dinner plate size. <laughs> just huge. And I'm going to make a set for myself that he can then put some rubbing alcohol on and give to Christina Mandrell. I Obsessed love that. Obsessed with this. <laughs> Obsessed. Well, Chandler, if Chandler doesn't go far with Joey, which I feel like she will, and then I think it might be tough, the whole New York to Hawaii situation. Yeah. Chandler is going to be a fan favorite. I agree. Yes. Fan favorite. Adorable. And she's afraid of lightning, and I resonate with that because lightning yeah. is terrifying. It is. I don't love lightning. No, myself. don't I'm not love, a big fan. No, absolutely terrified of it. It's absolutely a lot. Terrified. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, I it's literally it. electricity coming from the sky. I love it because it's kind of like it just feels wild. 
No. Come on. These two are so cute. <laughs> but I'm always thinking about like, okay, why are you afraid of lightning? Have you had an East Coast lightning storm? No. Girl. Yeah, no. He doesn't <laughs> know what he's talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, girl. I love West talk. Coast ones. Yes, yeah. honey. They're fun. They're exciting. <laughs> Just one. Okay, family. Quick pause, family. You know. You know how much I love Vegamore. I mean, if you know me, you really know how much I love Vegamore and what it has done for me on my hair journey. Uh, story time, actually. A few months ago, I had a very close friend of mine reach out to me. Um, they have been struggling with their hair recently. Mm. And so they were like, Jess, I know that you've gone through this whole hair journey thing. Um, what do you use? Tell me about it. So I told her about Vegamore. And I literally got a text yesterday a big old paragraph being like, thank you so much. I got on Vegamore when you told me about it a few months ago and the results have been fantastic. She's so happy. Yeah. So that's just personal story time. Amazing. Um, I love them so much. And the people that I've recommended Vegamore to absolutely love Vegamore as well. I'm telling you all with Vegamore, it is easy to stick to that hair routine and to see those results. Hair results like your hair growing, thickening up, looking shiny. It's just the best. It's the best. It's, I've, I've seen... Like, just visually in front of you, constantly seeing it, your hair looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, Vegamore products are 100% cruelty-free and are never formulated with potentially harmful chemicals like parabens or hormones. Here's the thing. When it comes to seeing results, the key is consistency. And like Jess said, Vegamore makes that really easy. Yep. I've made it a part of my daily routine for, what, like three years yeah. now? And I am so happy with the way my hair looks and feels. For best results, use for a minimum of three months for visibly full healthier and thicker looking hair like I said the friend that had reached out to me it's been about like yeah three and a half yeah. four months and she's seeing those results and let me tell you about the grow hair serum I use this every single day I am obsessed and it does not make my hair greasy it does not make my hair greasy which I love so much I just put it on every morning and boom Fun fact, Vegamore sells one bottle of that Grow Hair Serum every 15 seconds on their website. That's how good this stuff is. Having my monthly subscription of Grow Hair Serum, Vegamore makes it easy to stay consistent. When I sign up for a monthly subscription, I get one bottle or three bottles sent. Plus, I save more and I never run low on the products I need to take care of my hair. Elevate your hair wellness routine this year with Vegamore. For a limited time, get 20% off your first subscription order by going to vegamore.com slash momdad and use code momdad at checkout. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash momdad, code momdad to save 20% on your first order. V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash momdad, code momdad mom dad okay back to those cast bios baby <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. All right. All right next. oh she's cute next we have chrissa, chrissa. Mm. she's cute i feel like she's gonna get into a dis misunderstanding with somebody chrissa okay so. i feel oh. like she's gonna get into i feel like and she's gonna be sweet and it's not gonna be I feel it's like going to be the other person's she's issue. She's going to have like a strong moral compass and call somebody out. Uh, oh, I like that. You know what I mean? She's yeah. going to be like, no, but that's not fair. You said, and like, and I feel like Chris is going to pull like, she's going to have a strong moral compass. She was like a good student. She's yes. going to call out. It's because I see the little pearl earrings. It's the yes. little pearls. So I feel she like. She is pretty. She's yeah. very pretty. I feel like Joey's going to like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, speaking Ooh, yeah. of the strong moral compass, I know I mentioned Disney princess with, was it Allison? Yeah. This is big Disney Chrissa vibes. Chrissa to me, Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is a Disney Channel yeah. child star. She's like, adorable. I picture yes. her being in High School Musical. Holy. I can see her singing. We're yes. all in this together. Yes. Like she is adorable. Like, yes, she's bestie with all the adorable Disney yes. Channel kids. She got her homework in on time. Yep. She was like part of clubs. Yep. She like if she was your partner on a science project, you would get it. To, she's, You're like thank God. But she's Chris also like despised by the other nerds because yes. she's like pretty. so good looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're like, she's it's too like, pretty. It's like you have the same test scores as us, but you're yeah. not one of us. No. Oh, you don't so worship. this is like frustrating. You don't get it, Krisha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't get me. You don't get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like she's a sweetie petite who's following the rules and is going to be bothered when somebody pulls something shady and she's going to make the error of maybe getting into it and telling Joey. Oh. Because mm. there's always the reporter that yeah. goes and tells. That's, that's 
always the worst There's, thing. Oh, yeah. you put yourself in friend zone immediately it when you're like is, the confidant is like Stephanie's been doing this in the house. And I, I do just this need, just to protect you. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now that I have a buddy here, yeah. no, I can start dating you other guys, people. It's always yeah. so devastating when one of your favorites ends up being the reporter, and you're you like, no, you're gonna go reporter. home. You're gonna yeah. go yes, home. Yes, I fear she might be the reporter, but she's going to paradise. Chrissa. Like I, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm everyone's saying, going to paradise. So everyone's far. going to paradise. So <laughs> By the way, these photos this season are good, really gorgeous, good. really good. They actually did them because oftentimes they make them look like they're like Best Buy employees, <laughs> and they're like, "Let me really neuter these gals down, put them in like a <laughs> white Oxford button down." Yeah. Like no. they look great. The the color of the background, the yes. fact that it's a cute little scoop neck like tank top or whatever. No, I love the, the choice. makeup they've done. They actually are. They all look very, very fresh and like yeah. Yes. Cute. You can tell that it, this is like this is good. This is good photography. Again, the background is really helping. The a lot. background a good, is a great color because it's, yeah. it's a good representation. It feels like of what they're going to be like. Versus actually, in the past, you'd be like, "Wait, that's that person." Yeah, yeah. I feel like they really made people look bad. It's yeah. almost like they're afraid of anybody being kind of hot, but it's not <laughs> super sexy. Like they're all just like very fresh and pretty. Yes, a hundred percent. Okay, so I think Krissa was a child star yep. and is now scientist like okay like oh. she can, okay. Like Chrissa, former gymnast yes current scientist Krissa can do it all okay great Krissa can do it all she was a che- i'm gonna say um nfl cheerleader oh, oh that's wow. a good call that's, that's big a time great vibes. Call. okay here we go okay Marketing Marketing director. British oh, she's Canadian. <gasps> i like her even more yep. now that's <sighs> a kaylin bristow that is a kaylin bristow we love our canadians canadians are always nice they're so sweet okay marketing director too so listen we had like the account executive is that like a social media thing what we is got that? director but what i'm saying is we have like people who are high high up in oh. there she's been engaged whoa she loves to play golf Love that. Oh, she can oh, go Evan. to Hawaii. Okay. I'm going to have to... We may have to work this out. No, this is now... This is a problem. Chris is too attractive and she plays golf. Evan's going to meet her and leave me But guess her. what, Evan? <laughs> she can't ride a bike. So that's... You can't date somebody that can't ride a bike. You can't ride a bike? <laughs> <laughs> you can't ride a bike? Oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa. Oh, I, is she coming for your man? She's coming for is she coming? Are you Christmas, reborn on Christmas? Were you born on Christmas? She was born on Christmas. No, but when, that, is, no, when you is your guys, birthday? You guys, Krista is everything that I want to be. She that loves golf. She was so born on Christmas. Funny. I love Christmas. I love Christmas. And I'm she a looks like this. No, no, but you're I love it. Like I you. love my favorite is she goes, you could never date someone that can't ride a bike. And then you happen Arden, to be I the only other adult okay, I know okay. that can't ride a bike. I accept that you. Is I'm one sorry of the that I gave any shade. I accept you. It's my I favorite. An apology, my no, new friend. Oh my I'm sorry. God. It's my favorite two truths and a lie because no one ever believes it. So you know now what? I feel like I have to keep I it up. I can see where it's one of those things where you've crossed it when it's too long. It's too late. It's too late. I know it's my fun fact. I don't know if my nephew can ride a bike and he's, 13 he might it's too late for him my daughter can basically barely it's, not even she, and she has no interest in it and every time i try to teach her she goes gotta, i don't want to learn it i don't want to nah, learn it like, you gotta just take that <laughs> it's but hard we, to it's hard to it's hard to get that pedal going but we can rollerblade baby of course you can because you're a star you're, <laughs> you're a star <laughs> she's she's trying to make up for it now you're she's like star. i burned your ass so hard yeah, you love God. No, okay 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 look oh, it's was, one of my favorite facts time. about myself look you're gorgeous you're cool you're funny oh <sighs> She's a sweetie patiti. No, but Krista and I, this is, we have this symbiosis. Yeah. Scrabble, so you love Scrabble. I do really like Scrabble. I look. mean, look at or this. No, no, what's the one you like? I like Scategories, Scategories more, but I also that's like what I was Scrabble. About. Yeah. But look, look at this. She loves reading uh, Colleen Hoover books. Yeah. Okay. She, she loves going to breweries and playing golf. She's dynamic. I don't she's like dynamic. that she's a Christmas birthday baby though because if you're dating that that's more, that's a lot of stress that's so not only are you buying all the gifts for the family and the friends and the yeah. stress and the this but then you also got to be like shit how do i make it's it's special, how do feel I make special Krista, during all you know of this she was yeah. named krista for christmas yes yeah. she's krista exactly. krista Mesa. <laughs> you're right you're yes. right that's what she's, it's the modern christ name <laughs> krista. we have her on our on the bachelorette the modern christ is on the bachelorette wow. yeah. okay but like you said she's been engaged before Four. Okay, yeah. so we know she's down and ready for the that yeah. commitment. Yeah. She's ready. She, she loves hard. She is going to. She really will be into him. The golf of it all. Yeah, like she's ready to go to Hawaii. Oh yeah. 
She's in. She's in. They can they can play tennis together and then golf together. I think she's gonna make it pretty far. Me too. I agree. Me too. Okay. I agree. Me too. Okay. I like I love her energy. Okay, great. It's jumping off the page, and I love that you can't write it back either, baby. We you yeah. know what? For I forever. wouldn't say I'm like a. I would be. Re- I don't so want to go like. As a BMX like, pro, how do you <laughs> listen? It just came to me. I'm, I'm an ex sports kind of a gal. I would just like bike off my roof into the yeah. pool. You know what I mean? I bike onto like a from off my roof onto a trampoline. We were trying to get in contact with you, and you were actually on a biking I was, trip. I was I on a bike that. tour. I was you in the X Games. I yeah. have a half pipe in my tiny yeah. yard. I just do. Bike. I can flip in the air. I've done a few aerials on bikes. I can flip in the air. You know what I mean? It's just like, this is who I Normal am. It's stuff. bike life. <laughs> bike life. Bike life, baby. Okay, right. next. Next. Ready? Oh, Daisy. Daisy. I say villain. Villain. Okay. Oh, wow. I maybe because we all know that some of the villains on these shows are always some of the most likable people. Remember Olivia. Yes. I'm getting Olivia. Olivia energy. Oh. Okay. Now I have to say this. Daisy's the one person I know about. Oh. Or I should say I know of. I don't know anything about her. Okay. Because um, Katie Thurston, who's a close friend of mine, yes. is friends with Daisy. And I saw her mm. post on okay. Instagram about, but I don't, Katie, I don't know anything about her. I mean, so Katie's, maybe she is. But maybe, Katie seems like a nice person. Well, Katie's a lovely person. So it seems like maybe but Daisy might be nice. I would imagine that Daisy's a doll, but this is what I'm saying. Like the Olivia of it all. Olivia's amazing. Yes. So the show can make, you know, Look, the kindest, most amazing also how people you interact who are dynamic in dating villains. dating situations yes. is not always how you interact with all your friends. Look, I could be wrong. I don't know. Look, we don't know how people are when they're in competition. That's the thing. But yeah, so okay, so I don't know anything about her except for the fact that Katie posted about okay. her on an Insta right. story thing and I said this corrected. is a, f- a friend. And so it makes me think that she's a wonderful person. Okay, look. But we shall see. It's a cute red top to, with the pink background. She looks very cute. And she, her I mean, blonde she, hair, they picked a good, nice color for she's her. She's absolutely stunning. Stunning. Yeah. Um, she's got a great eyebrows. A fantastic you know eyebrows. What, like, I always trip out on people like this because like, you know when people are like literally designed in the lab to have the perfect smile with the yeah. perfect amount of yeah, teeth? that's right. I'm always like blown. I'm like, did you work on this? When like, I, how did you get the smile to be, literally, so if perfect. you cut her out of the smile, yeah. that would be like the Google image for a smile. You knew who that, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like it's the like, yes. perfect yeah, smile. Yeah, she's like the, for the smile doctor. Yes, yes. Um, Maybe she is a smile doctor. Maybe okay. she's a dentist. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say dental hygiene. Teeth, yeah. <laughs> teeth model. Teeth model. <laughs> tooth model. Do this they one, have that's what tooth I think models? Too. Tooth model. I think that's what she is. I'm getting big nurse energy from yeah. Yeah. This Daisy gives me energy of like when I maybe even a labor and delivery nurse. I picture Daisy uh, coming in. Kind of I'm, your worst nightmare though. Well, because of like she's looking <laughs> oh so God. beautiful. Yeah, and they're like you get the fuck out. <laughs> Absolutely, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. listen, you can't come looking like that into the labor de- labor and delivery room. But no, yeah. but like genuinely, her energy yes. is like, hey, I'm I'm giving birth, yeah. and she comes in and she gives me that smile. Yes. I'm like, hey, guess what? Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's gonna hold okay. my hand. She's like, gonna yeah. help me wipe You're doing the sweat great, off my sweetie. brow. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great, sweetie. That's Here's some the energy. Ice. That's okay. the energy I you, get. I, from I'm her. getting that too. It's the eyes. The eyes are very night. Nice. Like they're very right. warm. I like she that. I, I started out with villain. She's Stick warm. with the villain. Right? She's, warm. Warm. She's, She's warm. warm. She's warm. She's warm. Account executive. Account executive. Twenty-five. She's from Minnesota, though. Now that's where what's her name was. Isn't it? Wasn't. Where where was our bachelorette who just got engaged to Tom Becca? Where's Becca from? I don't remember, but mm. it might be Minnesota. Was it like Wisconsin or Minnesota, something like that? Okay, twenty five. These are oh, this is a young yeah. They're season. young. Well, they're young because he's young. He's young. They're young. So we've got the young the young okay. lady. She grew up at a Christmas tree farm. Oh what? Oh excuse me. Okay, so is she's it, an angel. So she's, so she's from the North Pole. Okay. <laughs> she <laughs> loves ice cream. Okay, so she's so adorable. Her dad's Santa. Okay, her dad got is, it. Okay, so she's not a villain. Her dad is <laughs> you Santa guys. Claus. You guys, she grew up on a Christmas tree farm and. And her name is Daisy and like I look mean, at her face she, she's, she's adorable insane. I she's was a, wrong she's a Hallmark movie I stand correct she is she's a Hallmark she's sta- movie and she's gonna win because of that <laughs> she's, she's gonna, gonna go on The Bachelor and then they're gonna make a, a Hallmark movie correct. like genuinely too though Joey does look like a Hallmark movie guy yeah. yes and it, look it says will Daisy and Joey have the love story of a lifetime yeah, and then we can add on Lifetime. Yeah, on Lifetime. TM. <laughs> on TM, lifetime. TM trademark. <laughs> Will TM. Daisy and Joey have the story of, 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 on, of, lifetime? of on Lifetime? <laughs> I feel like 
I don't know that he's a blonde man. I don't oh, know that. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm yeah. just. I'm just picturing who he. I'm just gut feeling. My instinct is it's going to be like a brunette. Okay. Also, I love ice cream more than you. There's no question about it. <laughs> Let's put that yeah. to the test. Okay. You don't look like someone that's like you know. Loves ice cream more than me. So let's, let's I put also that to the love test. ice cream. So let's see. If Daisy and Joey don't work out, then I feel like I know we're saying everyone <laughs> is paradise, paradise, but paradise. Look, paradise can hold. It's a, it's a coat of many colors. It can hold a lot of people. That's very true. Minnesota, mm-hmm. real close to Canada. She's you're gonna be kind nice. of a Canadian. She's going to be nice. You're going to be nice. Minnesota's going to be nice. There's, you're yes. not a douche from Minnesota. You're, you're going to be a sweetie petite. Also, she dreams of becoming a best selling author. That's nice. It's nice. Uh, yeah, she's cool. I think she's going to be like a Becca. It's, yeah, she totally might be. Daisy enjoys singing in her car. The, the only time I ever do that is when I'm really going through something. Oh. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, she yeah, does yeah. it just because she likes music. Yeah. You know what I mean? On top of her it's lungs. like, yeah. It's a, there's a, there's here just Here comes a, Santa Claus. Here yeah, yeah, comes, yeah, yeah. Here comes all, dad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look at this too. She comes from a big loving family and her parents yeah. of 30 plus year marriage has been the blueprint for the kind of love. Next Bachelorette vibes. Wow. Oh. She, yes. Good call. Interesting. And, and if Katie knows her, then maybe she's already kind of in the batch system. Right. She's been put through the machine yes. a little bit. She's been vetted. Coached a little bit. Basically. Coached a little vetting. But perhaps coaching. All oh right, God. Daisy. I feel yeah. I feel like we're going to see a lot of you. I agree. Um, next, we have Edwina. She's cute. Oh, my gosh. She's, she's cute. Stunning. It almost looks like is she in a tube top. Like, what's happening? Is there a shirt? Where's the shirt? <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure, by the way, because sometimes when we get these photos, yeah, like they're, they're from the off. website and they're, they're cut cropped, off. Yeah, but yes. then you don't see the whole photo. So yeah. then sometimes people, you know, Her look hair like is they're possibly nude. Possibly covering the yeah, straps. The straps. On the... I think it is covering the straps. She's perhaps, so cute, Edwina. Like, there's no way that she's not a model. She's gorgeous. Okay? Yes. And what I'm specifically seeing of why, like, I just picked picture her and Joey connecting is I see her specifically as a model for like I can see her in the tennis fit Fitness. right Ooh. athletic yes like I see her in like this gorgeous little tennis outfit right yes I mean she's so smiling with the eyes she's darling. which is a model she's darling yes. she's smiling eyes smile. my, my eyes never change <laughs> kind of a dead look <laughs> dude smiling <laughs> like, like People, I don't know like, how to smile I don't I just kind of smirk every a, once in a while but like if someone says smile he, I'm lost he literally hard. had like a full yeah. moment the other day where he like <laughs> like we sat down at dinner and he like opened up he's like I feel insecure about the Aww. fact that like can't smile. I can't smile Aww. and I'm like Evan okay. you smile with laugh. your heart <laughs> I smile inside but I'm dead I here I find you to be a warm, but you he's seems very warm. Your, your um, disposition is very warm, so okay. I, I'm not registering smiling or not your whole. Like f- if I was on a dating app, I just said you gotta see me in person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you're gonna you're get warm energy. You, you have a nice smile. No, nice no, but I'm just saying, like I'm it's, very jealous yeah. of people who have <laughs> no, these just no, no. like like the whole room lights. No, up. No, a headshot. It's also so awkward. Like I can do pictures if it's like a fun dress up thing, and it's sort of like a retro, like but just awkwardly but just pres- look right in here present and present charm day, me. Present day, everyone's in the same tank top. You're not in something. There's nothing fun. There's no like feather in your You're hair or something. Anything, You're yeah. just sitting feather there like smile. Uh, yeah, I, it gets a little. My eyes get a little wild. You start looking. to like guess, like wait, what's happening? And what then do I do? Face, yeah. My face starts to not. <laughs> Like the features move around and it starts you to start, not quite make you sense. All of a sudden, you're just kind of opening your eyes, man. Yeah, for it's no tough. Reason. <laughs> she's natural, freaking gorgeous. Yeah, she's yeah. absolutely stunning. And that's why like, I can't get by past the model. The smiling with the eyes. It's. I'm just... gonna say nurse. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Nurse. Okay, we'll see. Let's see. Did you guess? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it has. She has to be a model. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. That means twenty-five. That, that means Instagram. Oh. oh, you think an influencer? Don't you think? I mean, entrepreneur. E- sure, side, sure. Side. Because she was born in Liberia and moved to the United wow. States to their family when she was 11. Wow. She runs a crocheting business. I was wrong. Oh, oh my gosh. That's she cool. She to crochet when she was a child. So she's Africa. shy. So she runs a crocheting business with clients across. Well, that's cool. She's that's shy. Cool. She wants to learn how to play tennis. She's terrified of cats. And she flew to the Paris for the day just to see the Eiffel Tower. She's she adorable. Ed, Ed, Edwin is close-knit family. Oh, uh, there we go. You know what I mean? Oh, they did the pun with the crochet. I feel like she's adorable. And I I like her. See, she, she feels, I mean, like, listen. So we've got, like, 
full fledged um, entrepreneur runs her own like amazing a real cool business, like a proper entrepreneur, like a real one, and spontaneous to fly to Paris for the day just to see the Eiffel Tower. Where I'm nervous is I want to get to know Edwina better, yeah. but if did it say that she's shy? It says takes yes. a little time for her to come out of her shell. I fear she's not going to have the time to do it. That makes me that because always, that's because always a tough thing because the loud mouse. It's like yeah. they, once in a blue moon, somebody can be like, who's like Jess. this? Yes. Jess yes. was one of those very few that was able to be super yes. shy. Yes. But you, you know? know what? Yes. Joey might just see Edwina and be like, I'm in. Oh, yes. You're staying. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get to know you. I'm going to take the time to yes. get to know you. Yes. He is immediately horne out of the gate. <laughs> yeah. Horne, horne, horne. Well, Edwina, I hope we get to know Edwina yeah. better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the shy piece. The shy, thing's the always shy tough. is concerning. It makes me wonder if they're throwing that in the biography to let us know she's going to paradise. That she, <laughs> she's going to paradise, <laughs> that we will actually get to know her and she'll be around for a while and she's shy. Or if they're like, oh, we're not going to get we, to know we her. We tried. She out. couldn't quite do it. Yeah. Next. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, family. One more quick pause. So here's the deal. One of the things on our 2024 in list, our in uh, list yes. this year was home cooking. We are slashing takeout, okay? We're yes. slashing it and home cooking is in. It helps save money and it also, it just, I don't know, it's good for the soul. Oh, yeah. oh, it yeah. really it's is good changer. for the soul. But you know, you know that mama needs help with the uh, home cooking. Mama needs mm. help in the kitchen sometimes. So who is coming to the rescue? HelloFresh, obviously. Always so delicious with HelloFresh. You get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. It's... So good. It's so good. <laughs> we love HelloFresh. Have used it for years now. But now, and officially 2024, we are using HelloFresh like every single day. Yeah, it we've seems been using like. it every single day. It's, it's amazing. so good. Uh, whether your resolution is to save some money, eat better, stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you with all of those things. Each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less wasted food. And the recipes are delicious and you'll genuinely never get bored because they have such a huge variety. Check it out for yourself. Dig into their biggest menu yet with over 45 dinner options to choose from weekly and even more market add-on items that suit any lifestyle. Uh, you know I'm a fan of HelloFresh's lineup of quick and easy meals mm -hmm. specifically you know i love that 15 minute recipe meal yes. okay 15 minutes and you'll have an amazing home cooked meal don't get me started on the stir fried beef and broccoli i could eat that every single day it so, is good. so good uh, and listen they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day and hello fresh agrees in fact they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life Excuse what? me? Yes, That's this insane. is true. That means you'll enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Now that's worth waking up early for. Go to HelloFresh.com slash MomDadFree and use code MomDadFree for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life, everybody, at HelloFresh.com slash MomDadFree with code MomDadFree. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Holy smokes, what a deal. Check that out. Yes. MomDadFree. Wow. Okay, let's get back into it. Next. Oh, Erica. Erica. Erica's cute. I like her. I like her shot. She's like, you know what? I don't want to wear a tank top. No, we're doing the off the shoulder. That, that's the cozy, cozy. That's that sweater. That's girlfriend vibes. So oh, that's, girl that's, girlfriend. Girlfriend. that's revolve girlfriend. That's, yes. A hundred percent. That's a, that's a psychological girl. move right yes. there. I'm that's, cozy. I'm, I'm cozy. cozy. That's girlfriend. I'm safe. She's pretty. I was going to say Joey's cast. She is pretty. Is Stunning. They're like, oh, well, Joey has been voted the best looking bachelor. So we're she is give freaking. But I mean, yeah. I, and again, nothing against Zach Shawcross, DJ, <laughs> but DJ Ver Versace. Oh, yeah. But like, I, totally forgot I feel about like that it's been thing. a minute. DJ Sex Week. Did, I mean, 
DJ Snark. I mean, I then and then this is the first one in a minute yeah. where the ladies are like, "Oh, I want to be on this season." Yes, that's true. Yes, hoping we were, it was going to be. We had mentioned that where I was like, "Oh, I feel like the energy first episode is going to be like, we want. Oh my god, it's Joey. We needed, we yeah. needed that. We needed it. We needed that. Yeah. I feel like when was the last one we had? Was Matt James was hot. Peter was hot. Yeah, people were people were scrambling to get on. I feel like Matt season and Peter's. Okay, but Erica, what beautiful, do you think with Erica? Beautiful smile. She yes. feels really reasonable. I feel like she's mm-hmm. normal. Like I think he's gonna like Erica. Yeah, traveling nurse. Yeah. Oh, I like that. She looks like someone like who's very that. comfortable with like. I don't know why this makes sense, but someone who's really comfortable with like changing environments regularly yeah. like so she seems just ca- like go very with the flow. go with the flow i think it's a sweater that she went with revolved she's girlfriend. Got a, like a yeah, yeah like whatever the opposite of high maintenance yeah like her expression is like she's put on the coast not high maintenance yeah she's so cute i think she's gonna make it far i'm like really yeah. I, i'll be real with you i'm really struggling because i feel like every person we've seen so far yeah i'm like they're all going far and we're like I think not even she's... halfway through I'm like are do, are are all the 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 people who are going going to go far during this season just happen to have names that are in the, the beginning top. of the alphabet I feel yeah, like she's going to go the farthest of everybody we've seen so far Oh okay, so maybe I think she could be number uh, 1 I don't think she's going to win I think she'll be top 3 top 3 okay or top 5 I'm not sure I missed to see more but of the people that we've had so far I think she's the top of the, this pile I am getting like massive interior designer energy oh. from Erica. Like I picture Erica like having an HGTV show in the oh, future. There's okay. something about this sweater that I just picture her in this like very gorgeous minimalist home with like the perfect amount of candles and I get structure. That. She's doing the haiga. Yeah. The haiga. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um whatever that cozy Scandinavian thing is. I think she's a teacher. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I like that. I like that. I'm getting Joey's going to fall in love with her. Yeah. And this might be some of the issue we see okay. coming up. All right. Let's see what oh, she is. Like, By the way, if she's a teacher, he's definitely going to fall in love with her. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I'm like, I There's picture an energy here. I think she's a teacher. Ener- teacher with energy. I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Erica. Okay. Leasing agent that's not from it. 25. That's not, it. that's not what I was that's expecting. So she helps it. you with your loan when you buy a house. But yeah. she has a successful career, it says. Or a apartment. But leasing agent, she's like, she runs like an apartment building. Uh, and you something lease like that, out. yeah. I think if she was a teacher, she would have won. I think leasing <laughs> agent is not going to do it. I mean. Look at that though. Erica can sleep literally anywhere. As long I mean, as I, can I can as I, well. I, I, I can as well. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, you can do that as well? Yeah. Okay, then Evan's, Evan's the same way. The three of you. Yeah. I can take it. I can we right have a nap club. Right, I can sleep right here. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm kind of ready. I'd actually like to sleep right here. <laughs> I'm going to sleep right here. Is that fucked up? <laughs> um, yeah, we like her. You know what's so funny? She's not going to win. The teacher of it. Oh, the leasing agent. Interesting. Not that anybody actually talks about their careers or I was going to say. Any questions? It says in her free time, Erica loves reading and dreams of writing her own bestseller one day. Another individual on the cast who wants I to like, write a book. I like I mean, look, I respect that they're having people with the ambition and stuff like I that. I know. I'm like, damn. Paint and sip. That's kind of hot. Erica. <laughs> Erica loves you know to what I mean? Like a paint and sip is hot because it's kind of like I'm just so free. Yeah. Like I'm just gonna paint, yeah. which is already like a fucking wild thing to do anyway. Yes. Like you know, yes. what I mean? like painting on your own if you don't get paid for it is a yes. wildly yes. like yes. you actually have self worth enough to like yes. paint. Yeah. And then to like sip wine, you, you yeah. have like a weird. <laughs> we have a weird that's love. That's why for you didn't yourself. go into comedy. Yeah. yeah. So you had two people that are like you're lovable. Like I'm so far from loving myself enough to be yeah. like I'm just gonna paint today. No 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 no. You know, yeah, like, no, no, the, out of the your voices mind? in your head are way too loud. <laughs> way too loud. Unless to do it's that. like useful and painting a yeah. wall. Someone asked me to paint. And I'm taping it yeah. and I'm still not gonna get <laughs> it right, but I'm painting it. the bathroom because <laughs> my wife wants me to paint the bathroom. Yeah, but not like a, I just it's it's oh it's you know the weather's so nice that I think I'm gonna she, paint. She grew up with in a loving home. Mm. Look at this too. It says that she loves her adorable dog Cleo. So the dog is even mentioned in so we got a, a big dog lover, which I heavily support. <sighs> Obviously. Yeah. You know. All right. I don't think she's going to win. I take it back. I still yeah. think she's going to go. I think she's going to go far. I think if she was going to teach her, she could have sealed the deal. Yeah. Okay. All I'm right. going to say leasing agent. <laughs> she needs to just rephrase it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not Maybe even. she just has a passion for just, just rates. Say, just say like yeah. business. I'm in business. I'm in business. business. All right. All right. Next. 
We oh, have okay. Evelyn. Evelyn is a lawyer. Oh, see, I'm getting model here. I mean, she's gorgeous. I'm getting model. <laughs> like everybody that I've seen. Yeah, I'm everyone's like, gonna model, model, model. She's a model. <laughs> yeah, she's I mean, gorgeous. Honestly, Her, she's also a smile model. She's yeah. also a smile. She's model. also a tooth model with the other one. Yeah. She's so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to say she graduated magna cum laude. Mm-hmm. She was a good student. I think she's a lawyer. She's our lawyer. I feel like we always have one lawyer. I think she's our lawyer. She's our lawyer. Mm. I'm going to go model. <sighs> okay. Slash lawyer. <laughs> slash lawyer. Slash you know, real estate agent. No. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to say model. And then nowadays that also is like Instagram. Yeah. Right. So, okay. like, so yeah. like, you know. All right entrepreneur great or whatever you know i think my brain is in like hallmark movie mode yes. and i don't know what it is oh. but i'm just picturing evelyn living in new york and oh, being a yes. art dealer okay what? i art like that an art dealer. Dealer. i like or that like, what is it when like, you work at a, yeah, at a, a gallery, gallery. Okay, that yeah. that's yeah. fun i like this like okay. i just picture her at this like very chic like sotheby's yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and, and like, she's kind of walking around yeah. like are you enjoying your time here yeah, and she, yeah, she, yeah. Oh, okay. curator curator she, curator curator okay all right curator something something elegant yeah Cool. I like that. I hope you're right. I just picture her just like popping in and being like, "Are she's you put together enjoying this?" Piece? She always has a crisp outfit on. It's no, yeah. she's East Continental. She knows Kyle, the distilled gentleman. She knows how to eat with the forks. The upside and down the continental. Yeah. Yeah. She watched all the Kyle videos. She knows where like the the she knows where he is. Absolute <laughs> best. <laughs> where cup of is Kyle? <laughs> where is Kyle? She knows where the coffee is, but doesn't know where Kyle is. Is Kyle okay? <laughs> I where just is Kyle? Evelyn, Evelyn is like, I don't know where Kyle is, but I can tell you that this is the best espresso. Yeah, so we're going to do a drip. We're yeah. going to do a cold brew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see Evelyn. Evelyn. Nanny. Nanny. In oh. Texas. God, okay. <laughs> Nanny in Texas. 29. Love okay, kids. So she's an adult. one of our... She's more of an adult. She's one of our older... Okay. Uh, she's going to be... A villain, confident, funny, looking for a partner who can keep up their big personality. She knows what she wants, and good luck to anyone who tries to stop her. She's a fire starter. Oh, mm. okay, okay. She's a fire starter. Yeah. Oh no, that that line is like there. there that is ABC wrote this after the season ended, and they watched yep. her. We're gonna have some she's, some fun drama with she's Evelyn. Gonna be getting Hamilton. into a fan. Is that like Hamilton? I guess the, the so. Play? She the, loves. Oh, yeah. Evelyn is a hashtag Hamill fan. A hundred percent. She loves Hamilton. Okay. okay. She wants to go on a lunch date with Charity. Who doesn't? Same. I was like, same, same, and Not same. Not a bucket list kind of a person. Oh, that's. Okay. You know what? It's an I, interesting fact. Because it's like. To have a non-fact. It's a, it's a non-fact. Yeah. 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 That comment. Fun facts. As earlier when we were talking about. Um, who was it? Autumn. Yeah. That comment that she's not really a bucket list person gives me the vibe that she's going to be good in the ITMs. Because it's yeah. a little bit like, I don't do bucket lists and I'm going to tell okay. you why. Like, okay. we've got a fun personality. Okay. And maybe that's where then the drama gets involved because I feel like that can be, you know, the people with the fun personalities can end up being the villains. She's going to go to paradise. She's going to be a villain. I also think another villain is the first one who is the sister. I think the dancer sister, the dancer sister, the dancer mm. sister and Evelyn are both going to be having some issues They're with people in the house. Yeah. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Let's see. She is, yeah, a bold, outgoing woman who isn't afraid to speak her mind. Yeah, the nanny. I, I'm like she is just too beautiful. Yes, and Evelyn. God bless. <laughs> God, oh God bless you. I'm sure you're an amazing nanny. No, but like, babe, I found this nanny. I know yeah. we were looking for one. I'm like, you're like, too yeah, unless it's two dads. That is the only family. Yeah, 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 two dads, yeah, yeah. fine. But other than beautiful. that, but it says that she's funny. Yeah. So that's the thing too with that comment. We're gonna have a dynamic. Looking for a partner who can keep up with her big personality. Mm-hmm. We're going to be seeing stuff. All mm. right, that's fun. Me All need right, it. Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Ready? Yes. yes. Jen with two N's. Jen. Adorable. Oh, Jen with uh, the... Adorable. Jen with the toss, the look She's got over the, the shoulder. Look. She's got She's the, the only over. person with the what? Who, me? Who? Oh, excuse What? <laughs> Oh, wait, where am I? I'm just on the streets of New York. I have no she, idea what happened. She's an influencer. She knows how to pose. She has to be an influencer. When you see influencers in the wild taking, making their boyfriends take the pictures and be like, do it again, do it again. You see in the wild, you're like, it's so embarrassing to watch the content getting made. I know. And then it looks so good. It looks but then so you don't have good. the behind the scenes. But then like somebody has 
to take it. And you're uh, like, you have to do it, right? You have to do it. And uh, you have to go, no, do it again. Let me just do one more hair of toss. It's like, I have a yeah. friend who's attempting to break into the influencer Oof. world. And bless, she brought a full blown like ring light out to dinner recently. And I she can't. was like, please hold this up and film me. And I'm like, I don't think I can do this. No. Like, I want your career to blossom. But I'm like, everyone's looking at us in this dark restaurant. I mean, with the that, and, I, and like every good video you see is somebody with a ring light yep. in yes. a restaurant. <laughs> but like, listen, my, I, I have so much respect. Yes, you oh, gotta do it though. Because it's I'm hard. Like, the, the, just the, the boldness to be like, I'm down to have everybody in this restaurant look at me incredible. as I'm filming I mean, with a ring light. I'm way too self-conscious. Oh my God. I could never. I gotta tell you, I'm wowed by your setup here. Oh my God, I'm well, impressed you so that you guys the three camera I mean that oh you figured God, this you. out did you figure this out well this is Evan Evan is this is like his other business is in like the music of it all it's so really well he's done he's good with all that it's stuff. really well oh, done thanks. it's impressive thanks. thanks you should become a luckily <laughs> you should bring that ring light bring this whole setup out because to dinner. I set up the two I, things I should be going I would to love nothing more than to be his insta wife yeah like I would love to oh. have him be a full insta husband that would make me maybe maybe later we can come up with some angles for me yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Because I, I will... can't smile, so it'll be. We'll have to do something more well, like. Kyle left it a whole opening. <laughs> Kyle left a whole the distilled, opening. The, the distilled, distilled Kyle. The distilled Evan. The distilled Evan. The distilled yeah. okay. dist dist Daddy. Distilled Daddy. Oh, daddy. <laughs> that. I love I, it's that where you... I teach my daughter. Yes. How to be, you oh, know, that, that feels how to be polite. <laughs> how to be polite to be people. Polite. She's already more nice. I'm the rude one, so then so she, she can, should she teach can me. Teach you that's manners. What it is. Yeah, like that's what that. it is. That is actually a good okay. angle. Yeah. Don't She's steal that by the way. <laughs> just still daddy TM trademark. Yeah, I just did it. Yeah, it's done. done the, 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 the. It's already been filed before the time this went up. It's been filed. Yeah. It's still don't daddy. try. Don't try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't even attempt to. All right, anyway, back no, to Jen. No, but Jen, there's no way. That choice. She's an influencer. The, 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 she's an influencer. That look well, back. She'll say that she has some other she, entrepreneur. So it's going to say, like, yeah, entrepreneur or public relations content or marketing. Creator. Content creator. Content creator. She's an, in, she's an marketing influencer. Marketing director of her own yeah. business. She has to be. Also, Jen, to me, if, she's, if she's not a full-time influencer, she is a Pilates instructor. Okay, oh. yeah. Like Jen could actually get me off my ass on the couch and like get me to start moving on a, a reformer machine or yes. whatever they're called. Yeah, because you're <laughs> no? like, well, I don't want to look like a piece of shit in front of Jen. <laughs> I need to yeah. Jen. Look at Jen. She's just like in that cute or Soul Cycle. Yes. You know? All right. See, I Texas. Get, now I'm Texas. Texas. I'm getting now Ooh. this feeling of I need to impress Jen, and now I'm feeling like, okay, oh my god. Let's see. Okay. Let's see because also. She could be a beauty Florida. pageant. Florida. Physician assistant student. Which is, she also... She's in college. She's in college and she also influences on the side. There's no way that she doesn't yeah, have yeah, a, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. a solid Instagram. Passion about working in healthcare. Okay, so yes, exactly. She's um, bubbly and boarding. She's bilingual. Oh, she's Vietnamese. She's so cute. She's gorgeous. That's cool. She's... Mm. She doesn't know that aliens... No, she, she knows. Jen knows that aliens are real. Yes. Jen... Honey, me and you forever. Okay. Yeah. You she doesn't leave home without are real? chapstick. Yes. She's so cute. Sean Mendez. You know what? She just looks at the world. Like she doesn't. Like anyone who listens to Sean Mendez. She's going to make it kind of this like everything's like, I don't know. You're just like nothing sad. Yeah. And if, she's okay. a, and if she's a student and she um, and if she loves paddle boarding, I think she almost might be too eager to like, like. It almost might be too, like, like, like I, I can come to Hawaii. I can, like, it's almost like too, oh, e like, I feel too available. like you need a little chase. Okay. And I feel like, I think she's, I think he's going to like her though. She's darling. Yeah. Well, look at this one. She's not studying. Jen loves reading books like there's The Seven lot, Husbands of Evelyn weird, Hugo. because there's a lot of books and writing. I like this. I like this too. There's I like, there's never mentions of books, reading, or writing. <laughs> they, they're naming, again, yeah. I love Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Unless yes. she's from Miami. Yeah. Anyone who moves to Miami right. is down for a good time. We're down right? for a good time. If you're time. moving to Miami, yeah, 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 you're not yeah, like, yeah. I'm just looking to kind of like lock things up. I'm moving to Miami. Like Miami yeah. is like a choice. Yeah. You know what I mean? It also says that Jen has had multiple serious relationships. Okay. Which means that she might get be one who's down to get attached quick with Joey. Yes. If she's a relationship gal. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And like the fellows like her, mm-hmm. or you know whoever. Here yeah. we go. That's fun. Here we go. <laughs> I like. I think she's gonna go far. Yeah, I mean, with, she's adorable. With that, with that, a uh, photo. She's really. That's a confident photo. That is dream girl photo. Uh huh. But I'm always a little concerned when someone's like traveling, paddle boarding, physician's assistant, yeah. which is not like that. That's that's like it's, a really serious career choice. Like my sister was a phys- physician's assistant. That's like like you're in the medical field, yeah, hardcore. Yeah, yes. Um, you live in Miami, so you're not like in some small town where you want to get out of. Yeah. Like there's a lot to leave. Oh, right. There's a lot you're competing with okay. as a guy here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she's been in multiple serious relationships, so she also knows what she wants. So this is kind of, you got to win her over. This oh, is like not that. as simple as like, I'm from wherever and I'm just excited to get out and meet and come to Hawaii. It's like, there's, you know, I don't know. There's a lot is going Joey on Is Joey the type of guy who's down to win? Or will like he's he, going to need to move to Miami. Is he down to try to win someone over? Yes, or is I think, he I somebody think, who kind of sits back? I think every guy deep down inside wants to win over. I think there's a little like, I believe everybody wants a little bit of a chase. We all love a chase. We all want a little bit of a chase. I'm just curious though if he's got all these women who are vying for him. But she's so cute and look at that shoulder touch. She's going to still flirt. Mm. I know, that's true. There's a reason she's had a lot of serious relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see you, Jen. All right, let's do two more. Let's do two more. Okay, okay Jess. Jess. She feels like our gal from Vermont, who I forgot her name already. Uh, Gabby. She feels like our Gabby. What is Vermont? <laughs> okay, I'm from Rhode Island. So Ver- like, I'm, you know what I mean? Vermont's kind of like, is it real? Like so People Vermont- talk about it, but I've never met anyone who's like, I'm going to Vermont. Okay, I've never been, met I, from I, Vermont. Okay, so like, I used to, I love Vermont. I used to I've go seen every- pictures of it, but I'm kind of feeling like it's not real. Okay, so Vermont, No, nobody from Vermont has ever even seen The Bachelor. <laughs> Their kids grow up, they're, they don't watch TV. Really? They have wood-burning stoves. They're so normal and outdoor, like... It's, it's, um, you're going skiing. It's like, we should all move to Vermont. We should all move to Vermont. I think it was the first state that legalized gay marriage. Oh my God. We should all move to Vermont. So it's like hippie woods people. It's like hippie woods people. It's like where fish is from. It's like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. The the band. band. I thought you meant like just like fish. Fish. And I was like, okay, got it. So it's like hippie. (laughs) It's like hippie. Cool. Like liberal. Whereas New Hampshire, which is right next door is like. Their motto was like, live free or die. And it's like, what oh, are you damn. doing on my land? You know what I mean? Oh. It's a little oh, more like. Oh, New Hampshire yeah. is more like that. Okay. A little more libertarian. A little more. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. okay. So okay. Vermont's like, let's just get high and eat some ice cream and go skiing. Yeah. yeah. New Hampshire's like, did are you trespassing? That's yeah. a little more New oh, Hampshire. Okay. 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 That, yeah. This is good to know. Yeah. And this there's no state tax in New Hampshire. It's like, I don't want the government telling me what to do. Got it. Understood. Instead, they'll take it all in yeah. uh, something else. Yeah. So Jess feels. Vermonty to you? Well, she kind of felt like she felt a little bit like Gabby, but she has a little twinkle, like of there's a twinkle in her eye that could also be a villain. I was about to say Jess yeah. is kind of hitting me as villain. She could have a little devil, de- of a devilish twinkle in the eye. Yeah, I don't this know is, what it is. Yeah, it's a little salt burn. Yes. Energy. Oh my god, did you watch that? Yes. See, there's a little devilish, there's a little salt burn twinkle. Yes. She's got that like when, How, you, when you when you go like this. Yeah. When you look oh, up, yeah. she's a little demonic. How good, <laughs> how good was the sister in Salper? It was God, so, so good. good. She was so cute, so yeah. talented. The acting was phenomenal. Yeah, agree to agree. She just agree knows agree. how to deal with like she might political be, family vibes and knows how to She navigate. might be like, she behaves one way to Joey and not yes. cool to the other girl. I agree. Women, Off of women, the salt women. burn of it all. Yeah. I my guess for what Jess does, I picture Jess on below deck. I love I that picture. Jess. So do I. So that's so she's exactly like, so she's right. Like, she she works on a yacht. So she's like a second stew. Yes, one hundred percent. She's not chief stew. She's number two. She's number two. Are and you watching Winter House? I haven't started. Okay, it's okay. It, got, okay. it starts out good, and then it's not. Yeah, uh, but there's, so some, she's but there's someone... some below deck people on it. Yes. Okay. I I'm like I'm just really starting to get into blow deck, so I'm like behind. Okay, all of this, I was on I'm Watch What Happens Live with Chef Adam. Okay, here Stop we go. Oh okay, here God, we go. Oh <laughs> here we go. Okay. Okay. Um. But je- okay. A hundred percent though. Can't you see her yacht? She's yes. working on the yacht. She yes. works she's in late. luxury. You know what I mean? Like, but the, she's there's late. always yeah. like one of them yes. that's like. Jess still isn't up. You got to get her out of yes, bed. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Because she's just kind of like, whatever, like, chill. Yeah, chill, deal. be cool. 
Yeah, yeah, she's like, it's all going to be good. We're all fine. Yeah. And, and if like, I get fired, oh well. Yeah, it is like, well, deal. I did the hospital corners on all the bunks yeah. and you're just still passed out. <laughs> hospital and you're, corners. Like flirting with Kyle. Kyle. Yeah, that was yeah, yeah, Kyle yeah. teach you that? Kyle, thank the you. hospital corners. Kyle, oh, there's still gentlemen. <laughs> Poor Kyle. Where are you, Kyle? <laughs> well, I know that he's a pharmaceutical rep. I looked up his LinkedIn. <laughs> That's his day job. He does like sales for pharmaceutical he looked at company. His LinkedIn. I looked at his LinkedIn, but there's no, there's no more trade. Like the no, web. Instagram, website, the nothing. website's gone. Like he had two hundred thousand followers in ni- twenty nineteen. Maybe Kyle is like maybe he works for the government. I mean, and I'm, he disappeared. I, like I know he's working for some pharma, big pharma. But okay. like, but like, why not at least keep the website up? That's true. Are well, you googling Kyle? Just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right no, off? I just felt like I was listening kind of to a Yeah, exactly. It's, like, it's, it's scary. <laughs> Kyle's here. Hey, Kyle. Um, but okay, that that's what I feel about Jess. I'm going to say works in the yacht business. Okay, yeah. great. There well, we let's see. Let's see. Oh. 24, executive assistant, San Diego. Oh, my God. This is our first okay. San Diego. Oh. Yeah, there, there's wow. so many. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, she's going to be a villain. She loves Taylor Swift songs. We, we love, but we love. Yorkie Poonim Charlie, country glamour. She read her first book for fun last summer. <laughs> Wait, I can't. I love that. <laughs> wait, wait, I love that because that's honest. Wait, you know that's that? honest. Yeah. You know, all these people that are like, oh, I've re- I just love reading these series. It's like, no, yeah. you, you read one of them. Maybe this is honest. I appreciate you know what? This. that is. That is actually iconic honesty. And I, yeah. I do love it. I think a sucker for a pretty view. That's a non. That, she's going to be a shit She's in the she's in the San Diego. She just wants to be in the machine and like yeah. date Aaron and yes. all the guys. In San Diego. Wow. Like, OK. Or like, I'm who, I mean, this. I'm not Aaron, you know, like like yeah. James, like sure. whoever's left, you know, yeah. whoever. <laughs> whoever's <laughs> in the gaslight district. <laughs> The qu- loves the gaslight. He the loves to gaslight. Is, does she- <laughs> loves the gaslight district. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, has she dated in the yes. Bachelor bubble? Yes. 100%. She's definitely seen them at bars. It says when she's not hard at work helping people who have been impacted by natural disasters. So she works for like an insurance company. <laughs> Executive assistant? <laughs> yeah. She works for like, you know, farm, farm, whatever. <laughs> State Farm. State Farm. She works for State Farm. She's an executive assistant. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to be a dog dad, Joey? Okay, so she she loves the dogs as well. Yeah, I definitely She's feel like to be a villain. Also, it's not not a villain. Yeah. Also, I'm getting villain vibes for this one reason. If producers wrote this, right? Mm-hmm. It would have said Jessica is a hopeless romantic who's ready for the real deal. But it says is a self-proclaimed. They hate her. They <laughs> hate her. They hate her. That's, that's like, like, oh, that's like a, oh, that is, oh you know, she's a, glo- she, she says she's the nicest person ever. They like hate that's her. got that energy they to me. They hate her. Wow. And then it has in quotes. Like that's we a weird thing to say self-proclaimed. Why do they then quote the later in the sentence, we can't wait for her bachelor, like, e- yeah, her they bachelor hate her. It's a lot of journey to be going hate on. Her. Yeah, no, They're <laughs> like, okay, this is your real deal. You are so you just you hung out with all those. She bros. walked around going like, I am just so just like they empathy. Hate I have so her. much empathy, and it's they really hate hard. Her. I know? am exactly. It's really hard for me. I'm um empath and I take on other people's energy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, she's a villain. That's what exactly you know what, what I'm getting from this villain. I think you all are right. Okay. I think you all are right. I want to find someone I can trust my heart. Someone who will respect me. And someone will do anything to cheer no, 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 no. self proclaimed. It's interesting they keep quoting her. That yeah, was a that's long, a lot of like, that's a long sentence they quoted. They hate her. I want to find someone that I can trust with my heart and they someone who will respect hate her. Yeah, yeah, there's something going there, there, there's something going on here. They hate her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do our final one. Our final, final one, one, our final one. All right, lastly, we have for right now, for part one, mm-hmm. our last one today is Caitlin. She's Foxy. She is. Yeah, Foxy vibes. Cool. Very He's going to cool. like her. Top three. <laughs> Top yes. three. She's cool. Effortless. She, she looks like your dream college girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. She's, Effortless. She's got that like I'm just so comfortable moving around. Yeah, a yoga instructor. Yeah. I'm a emotional healer. Emotional I, healer. She's I, giving me very much like writing, indie indie movie dream girl. Exactly. Ooh. I'm a I'm an acu- I'm a singer songwriter. Oh yeah. She's yeah. so dream. Like she's your 
worst nightmare of who your competition is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because she's so chill and she likes you and she's like, you're awesome. Yeah, you're there's like, no reason she wouldn't like me because her, her whole, like, the doors have been open for her. Like, she's so, I, none of us are Competition threats. doesn't really like. No. Yeah. She's like comfortable in a bikini. She knows how to surf. Yeah. You oh, know, like, she's sure. just, she can, she, she can like, she travels light. She can just throw like a pair of like flip flops <laughs> in a backpack. She travels light. She has like a backpack and can just travel <laughs> for two weeks. She's got like a pair of shorts and two tops. Uh, yeah, like, uh, yeah, like like myself. If I'm on the show, I have seven oh. suitcases, and and Caitlin she, has like a small carry on. Yeah, she travels light. It's <laughs> like, such a specifically yeah. like confident thing. Yeah, and it's like because she doesn't need all the bells and whistles. No, she doesn't need the full makeup trunk and hair stuff. She doesn't need the like. And you ever meet people that like they put on a ring and all of a sudden they look awesome? And you're, like, yes. and you're like, wow, that ring's amazing. But if you put on a ring, no yeah. one ever noticed no, the ring. Like, yeah. it's like, I guess wow. like they have like long, beautiful uh, fingers. But, like, so a like, single necklace is like yeah. style, your style yeah. is so yeah. awesome and yeah. you're like their style they have no, one like, necklace yeah they have like a tank top and short. she can have jean shorts you know what would be iconic is if Caitlyn oh, we've never seen this before if a contestant on the show Rewears the same dress yeah. for rose she's ceremonies. Just like, no one ever rewears a rose so ceremony nice, dress, and people will get jealous of her. But they'll, but they'll like they'll try to start shit, but she won't even care because she because she's gonna be such a front runner. First yeah. impression, rose. Wow! Oh my God! The call for the first I like impression. That. I I just I now I see her rewearing rose yeah. ceremony dress and her being like, it's because it's important to like have recycled fashion. She's and exactly. You're like, I don't Damn. waste. I don't shop at Sheen. Yeah. I'm not. I'm fab. She would never. <laughs> she would. I don't have forty pairs of. <laughs> I did get sucked in. I bought everything I used like cro- at Crossroads. Everything I get thrifting. Everything's Everything. been thrifted. Everything. She loans her clothes that the, the three things she brought to other contestants. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's like, what is this outer exterior? She doesn't that even we have. wear a foundation. She wears like a little bit of lip gloss, some a like tint. Uh, she wears a tint, like a tinted CC cream. <laughs> That's like when you watch Love Island, where like early seasons, there's like the girl, the ladies that sleep in the thongs. Yeah. You're like, who sleeps in a thong? <laughs> <laughs> you sleep in a thong? What are you talking about? I'm just gonna walk around. I'm just gonna shuffle over and sleep in the thong. So it's like, yeah, she sleeps in like a thong and like, totally. like a, just like a little bralette from Skims, you know, just like a shuffle over because she's been naked all night. But like, yeah. and she's like five nine. Yes, this yes. like naturally athletic doesn't even oh, have to work so out. Funny. She's not even like a fitness instructor because she doesn't. It's like she just no. surfs and stuff and that takes care of yeah, it. Yeah, she just walks and she's surfs. A, she's either she's either like. <laughs> I just move. She doesn't like to pollute, so she doesn't really drive. She's often. either like she a walks. barista. She could yeah. be a nanny. Like a, so she could mm. be a nanny, a barista. She's a singer. Mm-hmm. She's just like a surfer. She's a dream girl. Yeah. She's gonna win. Who's Caitlin? Whoa. Let's see. Who's, wow, who's yeah, what is she? What is she? Sh- Oh my god! Even oh, better, a radio, radio chemist, chemist? Wow. from Santa Fe. Oh, she's gonna oh, win. Look up a radio chemist. What wow. is a radio chemist? Wow, she is tremendously accomplished. Wow, the radio chemist. She's a her cringe first, queen. She bought her first home at twenty three years wow. old and is making big plans for her future career. Is she medicine. two together for Joey? Is she gonna leave him at the altar? Radio I mean, chemistry is the chemistry of radioactive materials. Wow. Oh. Oh my God, she's a nightmare. She's (laughs) She's genius. She's nude. We don't know that, but she's like cool, beautiful. She's she's a homeowner. Highly intelligent. Numerous houses. She's a chemist. She's a straight up chemist and specializes. She reads reads fantasy novels. A lot of books. Lots of books. She loves grabbing a drink at a local cocktail bar. I think, is she going to be two together for Joey? Radioactive isotope. I don't mean. She you know when something's move. so smart, you can't even. You read what they do, and you still don't know what it she means. She can't move. She can't move. Where's she? What's she gonna do at like the Four Seasons full time? It'd be like if she was an alien investigator and she lives in Area Fifty One. You like you. You gotta stay there. Yeah, would she? How can <laughs> she move to Hawaii? I mean, I guess maybe from like volcano things. Are there yeah. things from like? She's gonna love Joey though because it says that she also hopes that her future husband is supportive, adventurous, and a feminist. And yes. I get all of that energy agree from to Joey. Agree, agree yeah, to agree. Yeah, cribbage. She's a cribbage queen. Isn't She's that, adorable. Is that? Is that a game? It's a game. Yeah. It's like and it's like it's like old fashioned game, mm-hmm. which is fun. It's like, you know. Oh my god, it says it says that she loves heights. The higher the better. You know they're gonna jump. 
See, I was going to say, if she says she loves heights. You can do it if you hate it. If they you always do the opposite. Uh, stuff. Unless they absolutely love Caitlyn, and then they'll put her, they'll give her exactly what she wants, right? So they will put her in a high They'll do the thing where he, she gets to take him on something but that's I scary. But I think, will that emasculate him? Doesn't he need to comfort her on something? But sometimes but they switch it. But she wants uh, someone who's going to be a feminist. I know, I'm not saying right? that. I'm not saying that's cool. I'm, just, I'm just saying, no, that no, I'm saying but, that's how the world works, but, unfortunately, <laughs> on The Bachelor. Yeah. But sometimes they do the switch up where, yeah. the guy, where, you know, where the lead is a little scared. Is know. she going to intimidate him? Uh, I'd be intimidated. I mean, I am intimidated I am. right now. I am. I'm like, Caitlin is she's literally so a together. god. It's <laughs> my financial advisor right there. And she's like, yeah, last like, year was tough. Her whole thing is like, oh, I got sometimes I can't put really my laundry. Aren't I bad? And it's you're like, like, if that is yeah, the pinnacle are... of your irresponsibility. By like... the way, that means she probably has had two homes. Like, she bought her first home at 23. Yeah, she's first. now 25. She's upgraded. Oh, whoa. First. Her first was at 23. Not her home. No, her no, no. Her first home. Her first home was at 23. She oh, now wowzers. has a few properties. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's no, a, this is... Like, yeah, she's Caitlin, a land baroness. If Caitlin is not the final choice... She's top three. She could be She could be bachelorette. She could be bachelorette. She's and, incredible. Whoa. 25? She is put together. <laughs> 25 first So people just kind of get it. Radio chemist? Yeah. So yeah. just figure it out. There we go. Wow. wow. God, well, we've really been through. All right, of all of these gals, I'm going to say Caitlin is the of the top pick. I think she's top pick of everybody. Yeah, I think... You know, it's also her green earrings. Like, she has a fun earring. You know what mm. I mean? She's she like, does. I'm going to wear fun dangles. She doesn't have to worry about, like, contouring her face when she's doing radio chemistry. She, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's, like, she's like, I don't worry. I, yeah, maybe I have an Instagram page. I don't even know the login. Like, I'm busy yeah. trying to fucking figure out radio, radio. rocks. Like, what are we? <laughs> Medical isotopes. Yeah. I'm, like, thinking, now that I'm thinking back, Caitlin, to me, is definitely in the top. Chandler. Can we slide Chandler back? Chandler really sticks out to me for okay. a potential top. Okay, not... Okay, Jen is going to make it far. I don't think she's going to win. Okay. Evelyn. Evelyn no, no. Do. Erica's a cutie. Erica. Edwina. Edwina's gorgeous. These are good-looking gals. I know. Daisy. Daisy. I don't think so. Chris. Christmas baby. She, Chandler. Chandler, I'm t- Chandler sticks out to me. I Chandler's feel like Chandler gorgeous. is at least top three. Okay. So I'm going to say Caitlyn and Chandler. Who's who who's who lasts longer? Who's number one of those two? I don't think we've seen number one yet. But how about the of those two? Who's going to go higher? I'm going to go Chandler. I think that's great. Who what do you who are your top two from this list? And in who who, who do you comes? think is Joey's? I, I think. Uh, OK, I think Caitlyn is. He's going to like her the most, but it is it is intimidating. Yes. Like when you're dealing with someone this successful, this young. Yes. That's a little and intimidating. And he's teaching tennis, which, by the way, I love. And I love tennis. And that's an awesome career. It's so cool. Yeah. But you can see how he might be like, wait, you're so together. Yeah, you're a radio chemist. I think, I think is it? Krissa? Krissa. Krissa. Yeah. Okay. Krissa. I'm feeling Krissa is going to kind of be more of the like, we're, we want the same things. We're willing to move to each other's place. Okay. I think that's going to be, I think Chris is my vibe for him. All right. And I I think Daisy is our next bachelorette. Which one is Daisy? Uh, Daisy is the one who Katie knows. Okay. Okay. She's adorable. She's adorable. She actually looks like Katie. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, She's she's like, it looks like a, yeah. (laughs) Is that Zach's Katie that is friends with her? No, Katie Thurston. Got it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. I'm going to say, I agree. I think of the ones we just saw, Caitlin is going to, be the second. She will be too intimidating. Yeah. I think the first for me, can I slide through? Let's see. Daisy, Edwina, Erica. Chandler is going to go. Mike, my, my, I have a good vibe from Chandler. I have a good vibe from Chandler. Chris is definitely going to be in the mix. I might go back to my uh, Erica, to my yeah. leasing agent girl. Yeah. Like my leasing agent it. girl. I might go. I'm going to say Caitlin and then leasing agent. Okay. Caitlin and Erica. Right. Yeah. Well, we shall see again. There's there's still half of a cast left. Wow. So we shall see. So everybody join us next week for part two. But Arden. Yes. Thank you oh, so much. What a pleasure. I can't wait us. to have you guys on my show. Oh my God. We would be oh so honored. And if you want to see me live doing the full you can come do draft picks with 
Braden. Is there a link for tickets? Yes. Can we put it in? Okay, it'll be yes. in the episode notes, yes, everybody. It's San Francisco Sketch Fest. It's at 3 p.m. Saturday, January 20th. I'll also be doing stand-up that night. There's a lot of fun comedy shows. Oh my gosh, it's so it's fun. It's really fun. It's a whole comedy festival, but... But we will be doing draft picks. You can come. You'll be getting your own follow along notepads and little pencils and stuff. So we will be doing on stage live with eight people, eight comedians. That is so fun. Be We've done it before. It's really fun. And so we pick our top three in order. We pick our villain. We pick drunk on the first night. <laughs> we pick um, and then we pick Firestarter, which is different than villain. And then we pick um, who the next Bachelorette will be. Oh my gosh. Right. Okay. Everybody check that out. The link for that will yep. be in the episode will notes. And also, yes, make sure you check out Will You Accept This Rose? If you have not been listening to it, you have to check it out. It is Thanks. so funny. It's you guys, so congratulations fun. on everything. Oh my gosh. Thank you so <laughs> much. You're such a cute couple. I'm so excited for the Distilled Daddy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I cannot you. wait to I start that. Wait. I cannot I've started wait it. for Distilled yeah. Daddy. And everybody, find Kyle find and Kyle. DM Arden. Yeah. <laughs> to know where is Kyle? Is if you know like, him, reach like, out. I know that he's doing Pharma sales. That's no, no. Like, why did he stop? What happened? What happened? Provide the info, please. And like, he should put it back up. Yeah, come back on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. <laughs> should he be a guest with you guys on my show? <laughs> please. Oh my God! After Kyle. about four minutes, he's like, "So I don't really know why I'm here. Yeah. Why hey. we're talking about? Okay. <laughs> Am I using my fork correctly? Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> he can put us through. He needs uh, to teach us microphone etiquette. etiquette. Yes, <laughs> how to eat uh, continental. Yes, I Beautiful. love it. Cute, Arden, cute, cute, oh my cute gosh, shoes. Thank you. Love you so love much. You too. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, bye, family. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> 